So, have you now confirmed I'm here on appointment? You cannot come in. So, Chief is upstairs in his room. And he said that he should come up. So when you... But don't worry. I know his room I've walked there before. Okay, that's just a protocol. Listen, my guy. There is... There is a way I do my own business. And if you are going to run any business with me, you must learn how to do things the way I do them. Yes, Mr. Come in. I will call you back. I'll just hold the phone and just hold it. Good morning, Chief. Mr. My boy. Chief. How are you today? Good morning. I'm fine, Chief. <laughs> I can see that already. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Chief, remember I told you I will be traveling to the village? I said, let me come and take the measurements now. So I was expecting you to come yesterday to take the measurement because I know you are traveling this morning. Why didn't you come yesterday? Chief, I, I just wanted to do it so that from here I will go to the village. Okay, that's good. Okay, then let me not disturb you. You see, this is exactly what I want you to replicate. In almost all the rooms in that house. Don't make any mistake. Exactly this thing. Let us see. Let me check. I'll do it. So let, me, let me just continue with this phone call downstairs. It's okay. okay. Go ahead. Vincent. Pastor Mrs. Daskanga. Vincent, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Vincent. Please oh. sit. Thank you. Mm. Ah, I see you're doing well. Thank you. Oh, I can see. That is why we serve him. And we continue to praise him, for he is the author and finisher of our faith. You're welcome. And congratulations. My husband told me you bought a new car. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's the reason I'm here, too. You know, Daddy has blessed the car, and I want your own blessings, too. Because I know it will go a long way for me. So, uh, this is the car key. I want you to bless it for me, too. Okay. Of course. Thank you, Andy. Hold on to this. The good Lord will bless you. Amen. Vincent, I pray for you. I, I pray for you that this car 
will bring you blessings, joy, peace and happiness. I receive. Vincent, this car may be your first, but it will not be your last. Amen. You will not have an accident with this car. Amen. You will go from places to places. You will go from greatness to greatness. Amen. You will go places, you will go far. May the good Lord bless you and bless you. Amen. I cover this car with the blood of Jesus. I use this key as a point of contact. Sing. You will go from greatness to greatness. Amen. And so it shall be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good. Good. You're blessed. Thank you're blessed. You're Thank blessed. You. Thank you're you. Blessed. I really appreciate it. Like I said, you will go from greatness to greatness. I receive. You will go from greatness to greatness. I claim it. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you. I like the fact that um, you're close to your Christian faith and you're close to church. Thank you. There is a reward for those that remain steadfast. You will go from places to places. I claim it. Yeah, but I'm sick. Thank yes. you. Thank Vincent. you. Thank you. Vincent, good. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, you are on to another episode of Build Your Home and today we are going to be talking about building the home and a woman's role in it. I am still your host, Pastor Mrs. Sandra Daskanga. Now today, like I said, we're talking about building the home, a woman's uh, role in it. If you look at your Bible, turn your Bibles to Proverbs 14.1, it says, The wise woman builds a home with her own hands. The foolish one tears hers down. Um, without further ado, we'll go straight into the nitty gritty of the show. Now, I will tell you the things that you need to do as a woman to ensure that your home and your house does not crumble. It's common knowledge, we know, that you cannot give what you do not have. So first of all, as a woman, you must take care of yourself. You must have value in order to impact that value into your home. Your home, I'm talking about both your husband and your children, if you have them. Um, take good care of yourself. Pay attention to what you look like. Cook when you need to cook. Take care of, put your family first. Put your husband, put your children. Listen, being submissive does not mean that you're stupid. It means that you understand what the Bible has said you must do, and you are doing it. Inasmuch as I hate to get involved in religion, but a lettered man like you should understand that this so-called Pentecostal movement is just a mere business. Smart men and their wives are feeding fat on you people. I don't understand why you people are not seeing this. What is wrong with you? No, why is it that you, you can't talk without mentioning churches? Why can't you leave church alone? I can't leave church because I am the church. You gather before those so-called human altar, set up by the, the, the so-called general overseers. Why are you people not asking questions? Look at you. You, you talk as if you are in any way better. Are you better? What do you mean by that? Everything! Look at you. As young as you are, you've been married twice. Yet, you're not living with anyone. Not just one. You're not living with one. Come on, one. You're not. So why are you talking? <laughs> and what has my relationship with my ex got to do with the issue under discussion? Everything. Listen. Idigo, you're my brother. You're my friend. In fact, my best friend. If only you will heed to my advice and follow me to see my pastor's wife. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that woman is the best woman of God in this world as I'm talking to you. If that woman should cancel you and pray for you, everything will turn around for your good. In fact, God can use her as a point of contact to that rightful wife you live with and have peace all the days of your life. Just listen to me and follow me. Follow me, you will, you, will, you will enjoy it. What I'm enjoying now, you will enjoy it. You know, the more you speak, I see a friend who will never recover from this mental slavery. 
And let me tell you something. The collapse of my marriages has absolutely nothing to do with religion. I am still friends with my ex. We parted ways as matured people because we eventually discovered that we cannot live forever as man and wife. Now you think God cannot solve this problem? Are you the only one who has found himself into this kind of mess or this kind of problem? No! But God healed them. My brother, embrace God and see what God will do in your life. Why am I living under this illusion that you see me as an anti-god? Give me a break. The almighty Chukwu Kikia Biyama is far different from your religion. That is the point I am making. You think you seriously impossible? No, 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 no. Vincent, you are the impossible one. That's why people like you will see the truth and refuse to speak out. I want people like you to understand that religion has outlived its usefulness. So the earlier people like you invent our spirituality, the better for every one of us. Okay. Vincent, this is you. Mm -hmm. You were... Uh... You were saying something about uh, marriage. Now I'm ready to listen to you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Actually, I'm ready to get married. Yes, and I sought for you because I want you to partake in the search. You're a good woman. Yes, uh, God has been using you, in particular in this our church. You've been doing wonderful things. In fact, you've been giving us joy. You've been helping us in so many things. And I know that through you, I will, I will find a good woman like you who will give me joy all the days of my life. So that is why I want you to help me. Please, find me that woman that will help me. And I know when you see anyone that is well brought up, you will know. Vincent, you've made the right decision. And may the good Lord help you in this search. Uh, but first of all, I'll give you my email address. You send an email to me. Tell me who your ideal woman is and, uh, you know, like what you like in a woman. Then we'll take it from there. I'll give you, I'll give you tips. I'll give you guidelines, you know, you must follow. And then we'll start our search from there. Mm. But the good Lord will guide you. Yes. In order to help you find the ideal life partner. Thank you, man. I know, I know it. I, I know you're not going to fail me. I know you will help me. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Um, let us pray. Stretch out your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, your son Vincent has come here in search of a life partner. Father, may this journey be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A virtuous woman that would give him peace, joy, and happiness. Amen. That Heavenly Father, he will not fall prey or fall into the hand of the devil. Father, that the devil will flee at his very sight. Amen. He will find a woman who is befitting of his status, of his life, and of his Christian faith. Amen. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered Amen. prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The good Lord be with you, guide you and protect you. Seriously, guy, you are a huge disappointment. How could you get a woman involved in a matter as serious as this? Maybe I may need to correct something here. That woman you're calling a woman is not just a woman. She's my pastor's wife. Automatically my pastor. You know one thing, I have this belief that one day that woman is going to find me a good woman. A woman that will be my wife. In fact, a good woman like her. I will never be amongst those people who say our people are blinded. Because people who are blinded, I mean people like you, actually blinded themselves. How do you mean? No, look at you, who is blind. He's not calling me the blind person now. 
Listen, I may be blind to you, but I surely know that your so-called pastor's wife is a woman who needs help. What useless help? Don't worry. You will find that pretty soon. You who is talking about her? You who has been buried in alcohol. In fact, you buried yourself in this alcohol and you're talking about help. Don't you know you're the one that needs help? You need to be delivered out of this alcohol. That is the most important thing you need right now. In fact, that is the help you need. I just wish that this alcohol is the problem you have. I will be so satisfied. Dude. Yeah. Nemo. No inspiration. Nyala. Considering who you are to me, the argument I've had because of you, I'm devastated to see you here like this. How have you seen me? Are you now going to judge my private life? I've not judged you. I'm only expressing how I feel. Well, I believe you're old enough to know that what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. Do not tell anyone what you've seen here today. Listen, I am going to settle for 4060. The reason I am giving out this business is because I am very busy this time around. I cannot execute it. And I'm looking for somebody who can competently execute the business. Listen, I have a lot of people who can execute this business for me. I remembered you because of the long business relationship we have shared over the years. So my permanent offer is 60 for me and 40 for you. I want you to shake it out and see whether it is deal or no deal. Okay, good. I am going to send you every single detail before the close of business today. We can pick it up from there. Have a wonderful day. Sorry about that. That's a business call. What's the meaning of this now? Eh? Why didn't you tell me someone was coming over? What if I came out of the bathroom naked? I am so sorry about that. I never knew he would be coming this early. Yes, we had an agreement that he would come to take measurement in my room. You know, I am erecting this mansion in my village and I needed him to come and take measurement of the wardrobe in my room because I want to, I want to replicate the same wardrobe in almost all the rooms in the mansion. That is what he came to do. I, I never knew he would be coming early. I'm sorry about that, my dear. It's okay. So why are you dressed as if you are leaving, carrying your bag? I'm actually leaving. My husband, um, my husband called, so... I don't understand. You told me your husband will not be in town for the rest of the week. Oh, oh yes, I, I know, but something came up. Wow. And I was actually thinking I will spend the whole of today with you. I even had a counseling for no, no. Don't worry, I'll give you double fold. <laughs> you know now. <laughs> Beautiful, Mrs. Daskanga. <laughs> you know, I am missing you already. Me too, Chief. <laughs> okay, then let me leave you to run along. I, All right. Mm -hmm. I am going to credit your account. <laughs> Chief, you deserve another one. Mm. You are the best. <laughs> you are simply the best. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Okay, then. Bye, Chief. Expect it. Something good. All right. 
Beautiful. <laughs> Bye. Ah, beautiful woman. Where the beautiful woman is. Yeah. My boy, my boy, I, I believe you know why I'm giving you this business. It's because I trust you. There are so many other people that can do this, but I believe you are the best. I want everything in that house completed in the next three months, both the inside and the outside. All other people that are working in all other departments, I am so certain that they will not disappoint. I wouldn't want my boy to be the person that will disappoint eventually. No problem, Chief. I will deliver. Good. So when you get to the village, you take all your measurements and send me your quotations. I'm going to make a deposit immediately. Okay. I hope you're my winner. Drive safe. I will. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hello, what up, my guy? I'm not happy at all. Seriously, I'm not happy. What happened? Are you in the village already? Yeah, or have you forgotten I, what I told you about going to Chief's house to go and measure something before heading to the village? Oh, that is true. I completely forgot. Are you still at his place? <sighs> my brother, I'm not there, but you won't believe what I saw with my eyes. You're right after that woman is not what she makes us to believe she is. Which woman and what are you talking about? Mrs. Daskanga, my pastor's wife. I saw her in Chief's bedroom. In fact, she spent the night there. Hold on, listen. Just tell me you're joking. How can I be joking with a thing like this? I'm telling you what I saw with my eyes. In fact, she was shocked when she saw me there. Are you serious? Now, what happened? What did Chief say? Uh, Chief didn't say anything, though he has already left the room for me to do my job before the door to the bedroom got opened. And it was Mrs. Daskanga. In fact, she warned me never to mention this to anyone. She's an idiot to have said that to you. I'm glad you opened up to me. Listen, listen, listen. Comrade, please. I don't want you to mention this to anybody. Remember, the innocent man doesn't know what this woman is doing behind him. And that is the reason you should let him know on time. So that he would save himself. Because there is absolutely nothing that kills a man than the infidelity of his wife. I don't want to go into all that now. In fact, I'm heading to the village, okay? When I come back, we'll see. It's okay. This whole thing is a mess. What 
if he decides to tell someone, this will not only ruin the church, it will destroy my marriage. Oh, Sandra, what have you done? How are you? I am not fine, Lady. Why are you always doing this, Idigo? You are my ex. We are done, as in done. I have moved on, and you have done the same. Why must you always come when you are not feeling fine? That's because we are not fully done. I don't know what that means. I would explain that when we see. Uh, meanwhile, I want to ask you a question. Do you have anything to do with Mrs. Daskanga of Power From Above Ministry? Are you serious? You are now making inquiries on women of God. That means God has finally touched your stone heart. So tell me about it. <laughs> I asked a question which you have refused to answer. Can you at least answer the question? Um, well, I don't know anything about the woman. But I know she's a very powerful woman of God with a very strong television ministry. Many women who attend her counseling say she's indeed a very powerful woman of God. So why do you ask about her? Just like many of them, she is not what she claims to be. What does that mean? Did you see her doing anything? I did not see her, but uh, someone very close to me did. In fact, And I want you to understand this. Our misunderstanding has absolutely nothing to do with her teaching and personality. We'll talk about this more. Meanwhile, I want to see you because we can discuss this over a bottle of wine. Now I get it. Always looking for a way to get out. Listen, if you're looking for a woman to be with, go somewhere else. Rubbish. Oh, yeah. My lovely ex, you still call her a powerful woman of God. Powerful woman of God behind Chief Okundo's closed door. Man, he dares not tell your husband anything. And no one will even believe him because of your public representation. Are you sure? You should have told Chief. Eh? He would have threatened him. Tina, all I wanted to do was to run away. The first thing that came to my mind was how to escape. I had to run as fast as my leg would carry me. Tina, please. Okay, okay, calm down. Take a deep breath. Huh? Relax. Okay. We will manipulate things if he tries to act funny. What is the next line of action? Tell me, let us start. You need to relax. Come here looking for me. No. Okay. Please go back to your post.
I am so scared. I know Tina has asked me to relax, but I also know I have lost my self-respect before Vincent. My major problem is, I don't know his next line of action. How am I sure he has not mentioned a word of it to someone? And this whole thing is not even my fault. It's my husband's fault. He's so carried away with all these church activities that he forgets that I have feelings and needs. Face like this. Huh? Can't you postpone your trip? You just came back yesterday and you're leaving again today. We hardly spend time together. Darling. You're my wife. And you of all people should understand these things more. This is one of the many sacrifices you should have to make. I have his calling upon me to preach his gospel to the people. The people need me. Which means I'll always be your way. But that is not to say that I will ignore you. Okay? I will make up for it, I promise you. Okay, have a safe trip. How can I? When you're yet to smile. Please. Come on. You know that I love you. I know that after God, you come first. Please smile. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Hmm? Well, you want to welcome me to the car? work so seriously mm. and it's affecting us without him even knowing it can you believe that for the past six months my husband has been going from one ministerial conference to one pastoral event do you know that we haven't had intimacy for six months was that the reason you called me here you know i do not like visiting your house i mean once your husband sees me he starts saying john chapter three oh no i don't want someone preaching to me I love my life. I love exactly how I'm living my life. I don't need all that, okay? I don't need all that. But seriously, Tina, don't you think you need to revive your Christian life? And be like you? Oh, please, cut me some slacks. Babes, I understand how it feels. But if only you can just know the truth behind all this. What truth? That your husband is having another woman. God forbid! My husband is a pastor. An anointed man of God. A man who has got on my foot. <laughs> have, you, have you asked me the real reason I stopped going to church? Why did you stop going to church? Apostles, reverends, pastors, bishops, whatever. They're all the same. Whenever they see me, they, they clamor to have me. Babes, they don't even hide it. Do you know I prefer to do things with these normal people than these so-called men of God, in quotes? And um, Tina, my husband is different. You're living in a fool's paradise, girl. 
Open your eyes now. What's up? Listen, a full-blooded man cannot stay up to six months without mating a woman. He's not giving it to you. That's because he's having a lot of it outside. And the man is digging it outside. Tina, why are you telling me this? Men do not have the monopoly of having extramarital affairs. We all eat the same thing. And our bodies make the same calls. Girl, if he's not giving it to you, you go outside. And solve your problems. ASAP. I'm fine. I just tried to connect you on video call, but you didn't pick. Yes, I'm good. It's just that the church misses its head pastor. Your assistant is trying though, but you know, there's nothing as lifting as the head pastor of the church. Alright, my love. You're going to regret this. Yes. It's his fault. Yes. The skanker has never picked up my video call. I'm sure he's with a woman. Or even women. It's all his fault. Onye, I did not hear you just say that. But you heard me. I know you very well, Indigo. You are not a busybody. So why bother yourself with what two adults did behind closed doors? Oh, Onye, don't tell me that. We are not just talking about any adult. We are talking of someone who parades herself as a pastor's wife with a television program. The mere fact that she is living a life different from what she preaches is something serious and we need to call her out. And by calling her out, what will you record as your king? At least all the people that she has been deceiving would have a reason to ask themselves an important question. These pastors and their wives are just business people who have absolutely nothing to do with holiness of life. I've been saying this, why is it that people like you have refused to listen? <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> Is this possibly the reason you asked me to come see you? Well, you know, why are you seeing this as nothing? Now that you are thinking straight, I want to hook you up to someone. He will take proper care of you. Not just in bed, but he will lavish you with money. Babes, you will make money and become richer. Listen, no man is worth dying for. Be it man of God or whoever. Let me even ask, who is a man or woman of the devil? You know, since you came to my house, I've been thinking about it. Hmm. I don't understand why he suddenly stays away for so long. Hmm. He acts as though he doesn't have blood running through his veins. Mm -hmm. Do you know I even tried to call him on video call and he didn't pick. Why will he pick when he's busy smashing a woman on bed? Babes, if I tell you what I have seen in the hands of these so-called men of God, you will lose your faith in fellowship. I have decided to leave these men of God and concentrate on my ever-merciful God. I am so wounded right now. Why, why didn't I see this before now? It's not too late to start anything. My happiness is that you have, you've opened your eyes. I will take you somewhere tonight. 
babes, I want you to see the other part of life. Babe, if you see that life, you will not want to go back to your old ways. What do you think I should confront him? Confront him for what? Why would you want to do that? Allow him to keep being foolish while you enjoy yourself. You see, this is our God. <laughs> this God is a merciful God. He is a powerful God. He forgives us of our sins. Ah. I can see you're in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are welcome. I'm surprised. I'm surprised we ended up in a hotel room. Weren't you meant to at least go to like a, a private residence wh where my reputation will be secured? There is no place more secure than this place. This is not just a hotel. This is a coded place where the high and mighty meet to mingle. There's a way those um, receptionists were looking at me. It was funny. Come on. Those receptionists, they were only admiring how beautiful you look. Should I be the one to tell you you look astonishingly beautiful? Beautiful. I mean, astonishingly charming. After two kids. So you think they won't breathe a word of this to anyone? Why would they? I mean, those receptionists walking here, they can't say a word to anybody. Calm down. Relax. Cheer up. Chief will soon be here. myself. I said I no longer invest in politicians. The reason is very simple because they are a bunch of liars. They will never say what they mean and they will never mean what they say. I don't deal with such people. You don't get it? Listen, the only thing I will promise you is um, I will go back and study the proposal one more time. Because they are, the kind of money they are calling is not the money somebody will just bring out. So I need to study the proposal one more time and see if that is what I want to get involved with. And I want you to do me one favor, please. Get those guys in that political camp to stop sending me all these endless reminders. I am not daft, okay? I will get back to you guys when I am ready for you guys. That's a promise. Thank you. Sorry ladies, I just needed to take care of these guys that have been calling me all day. It's okay. Chief Chief! <laughs> the business tycoon himself. Tina the lady <laughs> Chief. You are the one who knows everybody. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> and I am believing that the this beautiful lady sitting down here is the one you told me about. Exactly. Babe, this is Chief Ofundu. Ogili <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you, sir. Ezibo Mumade. Her voice and her presence has this element of peace. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, I have, I have this peaceful way of handling peaceful people like you. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yes. Mm. You have not called up for anything? Um, Chief, uh, let me just get serious. Please. Okay. Let me, let me <laughs> Feel free. Let's go on. Feel right. free. Chief Let's is a very right. nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like this woman. I know. <laughs> welcome. Um. What's, what's the problem with you? And why are you dragging me here? Does it mean you did not notice what happened? What happened? Madame Tina did not leave this hotel with that woman. That means she's spending the night here with that man. Is there any problem with that? And moreover, here is built so that people will come in and sleep. That's the woman pressure who ministers on the television every Wednesday. And she's spending the night with another man in a hotel. It's none of your business. 
she's here in a hotel with another man in Shifa Kondo's room. And you're telling me it's none of my business. See, if the manager hears this thing you are saying, he will fire you immediately. And let me just warn you, don't you ever drag me to this corner to discuss nonsense. What is wrong with everybody say? There is enough to talk about. Babes hate me with the gist as if it hurts. It was okay. Five million? Babes! And I wasn't even expecting it. Come on. I mean, a man that enjoyed his woman last night should take care of her. Well, you're right, but um, honestly, personally, I was not expecting it. He just asked for my account number and hmm, he sent me five million. And I'm so happy hearing this. Now that you've tasted the other side of life, you now know that a woman's body is a money-making machine. Uh, 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 uh. Don't say because I've started doing this now, you want to give me someone else. I am not interested in meeting any other man. Eh? Come on, Sandra, now. If you make yourself too available for a man, he will take you for granted. Well, I, I know I know you know better. I know you know this is your terrain. But I honestly do not want to meet any other person. I have my reasons. <coughs> Chief Okwundo is a woman killer. I am sure he brought down your pot of orgasm, babe. <laughs> I never knew that lovemaking could be this sweet. I tell you. He was nice. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> okay, now that um, the pastor's wife is good to go, I cooked. Would you like to eat? Eat? No. I'm full. <laughs> Girl, you are bad. switched off you and you're not at the church. I am so tired myself. It's fine, baby. I've been busy trying to settle one problem to another. I don't know what marriages are turning into okay, these days. Sit, 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 sit. Eh? Take this. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Uh, uh. Honestly, I don't know what marriages are turning into. What is the problem? Before it was men. Now women also have egos they're trying to protect. Hmm. Eh? Both parties will not allow each other rest. Or even give way for one another. Well, that explains why we have a lot of uh, failed marriages these days. You know, the lack of tolerance, the lack of patience, the lack of understanding. I tell you. Between both parties, it's it's alarming. I tell you, this is what I've been telling women oh, <laughs> since morning. Only God will help us. We'll have to keep praying for them. I have to. I have to. I'm so tired. You look very tired. I am. I was going to say, you look tired. I'm extremely tired. I just want to rest. You need some rest. No, come on. Mm. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Let's go. I'm so <laughs> tired. It's fine. I've been talking since the morning. <laughs> oh. I know. Mm.
Surprised to see me, my love. Shh. Reduce your voice. My workers are around. How about that? Look at you. You look pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. Please sit. My husband is around. Please. Listen, we really need to find a way around this. Because I'll be coming here quite often. Chief, please. Don't put me in trouble. Just leave. I'll come to you after. Not so fast, my dear. Why are you even tensed? What is the problem? You look so tensed. You won't understand. I do understand. You are worried about your environment. Come on. Let me tell you something. Even if your husband comes in here now as we are here, we are going to figure out something to tell him. He won't be able to figure out anything. You are not kids. Are we kids? Does this mean you are a very stubborn man? Because that's not good. Are you not stubborn and you are this big? Come on, you are stubborn too. I know. Any businessman in Nigeria who must survive must allow the spirit of stubbornness to possess him. If not, people will continue to take it for granted and they will squander his money. Stubbornness, my dear, is big business. Don't you understand that? So what are you doing? Chief, let's pray. Why are you feeling? Why are you eating from my plate? <laughs> Do you want some salad? Yes, darling. Okay. You know, <clears throat> I was, um, you know, I pray the kids um, will be on holiday very soon because I miss them. You should visit them. It's been a while. Yes, I was thinking so. Very soon, I will. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. They'll love it. And hey, a man, a great uh, philanthropist, came to the church and donated a sum of five million naira. For what? He said it's for the ministry. He wants us to help the people in the ministry and also maybe renovate a part of the church. Really? Yes. That is so kind of this man. That is really kind of this person. I'd love to know who this person is. Meet him if it's possible. I mean, this level of kindness, quite rare, if you ask me. Absolutely rare. Anyway, he dropped his contact. Okay. So I will um, organize a meeting for us. That would be nice. I'd love to meet him. Right? May the good Lord continue to bless him. Amen. And a big iron man. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I love it. Love it. Salad is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just add more for Please. Him. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, my wife told me about your kind gesture to the church. And I must say that I am very pleased with your kind gesture. And my prayer is that the Lord Almighty continues. Thank you, Pastor. He will bless you more. Actually, I came from a very humble Christian background. From that orientation that I have, I feel it is natural for me to identify with the kind of things you do. I have not done anything to deserve the kind of blessing God has given me. So I feel it is only okay for me to appreciate God by giving out to people that are doing positive things like you. That is what I have done. You can always reach out to me anytime the need arises for anything you believe I can do. Ah, thank you very much, Chief. Yeah. Um, the pepper soup will soon be ready. <laughs> you don't need to worry yourself about me. I have a very strict diet pattern. I don't, I hardly eat outside. Seriously. Uh, but now that uh, we have known, I am actually thinking that uh, both of you, I, I, 
I want to know if it is possible for me to host both of you in my place. That would be very nice. Very, very nice. I must say, Chief, that you are indeed a good man. You know, when she mentioned you to me, I told her that I would, you know, like more clarity uh, as to who you are. But having you here and hearing you talk, I must say that I am satisfied. Thank you, Pastor. You know, I have uh, different foundations in town taking care of uh, the, the widows and the orphans everywhere. And I, I am thinking as a, as a man of God and a woman of God, if it would be possible for you to find time and uh, come with me to visit any of, any of the places. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would be a pleasure. Okay. And may the good Lord bless you. Thank you for allowing God to use you positively. May you never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, Chief. Master. I hope you don't mind. I am led to, to pray with you. Oh. Why should I mind? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a day like this. You're such a bad girl. What were you thinking? What did you expect? My husband has the details to that account. Hmm. You know, the bank app is actually downloaded on his phone. Hmm. I just told Chief and he played her long. That <laughs> man is a player. I know. But if he had not insisted, I would have introduced it to other people that would give you money. Please, 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 please. Let's not even push my luck any further. I still beg God for forgiveness every day. Hmm. I shouldn't be the one telling you about the goodness of God. He always forgives us. Please, can we not talk about this now? Okay, as Her Majesty pleases. But I'm glad your eyes are finally opened. I know. Can we go now? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for what you've done. 
Pastor Daskanga. How are you today? Sir? I'm very well, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I saw it online that today is your birthday. So I decided to come early to give you this as my own little present for your birthday. I know how busy today we get, so I needed to come early to give you this before people will start trooping in. Jesus Christ of Nazareth! 20 million naira! Why are you shouting? You deserve more than this. I, I had wanted actually to get you an SUV. Then I decided again that she has a car already. And I know how your ministry preaches against wastage. So I felt it is only natural that I should give you this so that you and your husband can decide how best to use it. Oh. it it's, it's my birthday gift. Honey, look at this. Thank you. Chief. I am short of words. However, I want to say a very big thank you. The Lord is indeed using you in so many good ways. My wife is actually a role model. Yes, she is. I have benefited immensely. I have watched all, almost all the episodes of our TV program. What many women are following? Even my wife is a fan. You have touched her life in so many ways. And I felt it's only natural that I should give you this. Oh, manage you. it. Manage it, please. Thank you. May the good Lord reward you bountifully. Amen. Amen. I should be leaving now. Already? Yes. I just kept to give her this. I know how busy this today will get. So, you will settle down and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you more. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Chief. God bless him. God bless him. What are we going to do? I don't understand why you are dressed up so fast as if you are leaving. Well, that's because what I came for was a quick one. You know, there's still people at my house. It's still my birthday. I know. <laughs> but you know I cannot have enough of you. I know. Me too. <laughs> but not to worry. I'll be back. This was just, you know, a quickie. I'm already missing you, you know that. And I'm missing you too. You know what? Please, when you leave, try to come back to me quite often because if you fail, you will see me in your place. Ah, please, do not come to my place. Allow me sneak in when I can, okay? <laughs> I don't want that. I'll see you later, my love. Beautiful Mrs. Mm. Mrs. Daskanga. <laughs> you know, God actually did a wonderful job. And I'm glad you appreciate it. Bye bye. <laughs> this woman is so beautiful and so sweet. Ugo. Ugo, 
please come. For you to work for a man like Chief Okondo, it means you can be trusted. Yeah, is that true? Very good. I do not want you to tell anyone that I visit this place often. And there's a huge reward if you can do that. No problem, ma. Trust me. I will. That's good. Chief Okundu calls for you. Okay. Never listen to all these pastors again. All of us are the same. Well, this, this man, Chief, is uh, he's a very, very good man. You know, th these are the kinds of people that we need to, to support the church. You know? I agree with you. I mean, look at the gifts that he gave to me. Look at the amount of money. I'm even so scared to spend it. it. It's a lot. It's a big gift, I agree. It's a very big gift. But go ahead and spend it how you, however you wish. It's, it's your gift still. Uh, it's your gift. It's a very good man. No. Honey? Hmm? Are you with me? I am here. Oh, I'm just thinking. Why God will bless us with such a benevolent man? That is because God is good. And he does all things in his own time. He is a good man. So all we need to do is to continue to pray for grace upon him. I agree with you. He deserves all the praise all the prayers we can make. Babe, thank you so much for the drink. You're welcome. Mm. Girl, I honestly didn't realize the other side was this sweet. Mm. No wonder men cheat. Hmm, my love, enjoy yourself to the fullest. Okay, this is just the beginning. You see, Chief, Chief will give you lots of luxuries that you have never imagined in your life. And if he starts misbehaving, you move to someone else. No strings attached. My darling, how you plan this thing still baffles me. Do you know that my husband believes that Chief Okundu is a philanthropist that came to help the ministry? Do you have to mention that pretender in this discussion? Is it my husband you're calling a pretender? You don't have to feel bad about him. For that is what he is. Listen, if I tell you what he does whenever he travels, <laughs> babes, you will poison him. Yes. So come down, enjoy yourself with Chief. I mean, Chief, carry your matter for him. Mm. Gala. He does all. In fact, the thing baffles me. Do you know the other day he came to the office while I was preaching to the women in church? Mm -hmm. I literally begged him to leave. Ha! Do you blame him? The man is in love. I mean, I don't know what you have done to Chief, but he keeps clamoring about you. Oh, Sandra, Sandra is my love. Sandra. What is it? Eh, what is it? What have you done to him? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Just, you know, holy, holy love. <laughs> <laughs> you are a bad girl. What can I say? So tell me, what do you guys actually do? Are you sure this thing will not backfire like this?
Sweetheart. Sweetheart. What happened? I've been calling. That's your phone. Yes. I've been calling you. Oh my goodness, seven missed calls. Yes. I got to the airport. I was calling, hoping you'd pick and come get me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I put my phone on silent when I was praying. I'm sorry. But well, is well, everything I'm, okay? Yes, everything is fine. Welcome home. I'm so sorry. How it's are fine. you? Well, I'm tired. Uh, um, let me take this in for you. I, I, I cooked. Oh, the crusade was something else. It was an outpouring of anointing and so many people, a lot of a lot of people were touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Is anything the matter? Uh, honey, it's just that I'm tired. You know, these women and their marital problems, it's a lot. The ministry and the workload, it's a lot. But we cannot question God. For he has given us the grace uh, to carry on in this ministry. They need you. You know they need you. And this is why I always miss my husband. He always has the right words. Thank you. Go on, take a shower. And I'll fix you something to eat. You know, right? <laughs> Very hungry. I'm gonna join you before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Yes, what is it? Sir, a man is here to see you. And this man has no name? He said his name is Idigo. He said he came in connection with your technician. Connection with my technician? What does that mean? Okay, anyway, let him in. Thank you very much. I gathered you are here in connection with my technician. What does that mean? Yes, sir. The last time he called me was when he told me that he has work to do for you at your village house. Yeah. And that he will be traveling. That was about 10 days ago. Up to now, 
I cannot reach him and neither is any of his numbers going through. So I came to inquire from you if you have heard from him. Oh, yes, hold on, Idigo. I don't understand this. Are you possibly saying that he may have gone missing or what? Not really, sir. It's just that it's unusual of him not to have reached out to me for a whole day. And it's 10 days now. He has not called. And he's nowhere to be found. You know, I, I have actually tried to reach out to him and his number did not connect. I actually thought uh, maybe network or something. I didn't give it any serious thought. Um, Chief, I feel something is wrong. Is there any way you can call someone in the village to confirm if he's working there? Of course, I will make that call. But in the meantime, based on what you just said and the way I feel now, I am thinking if you make a case with the police, uh, let us hear with goes. But I am, I am surprised you didn't bring this to my attention before now. I'm sorry about that, Chief. I was thinking that he would call. Let it not be that something wrong has happened to this boy. Listen, Idigo, you will do exactly what I just said now. Okay? Um, yeah. Look, take this. That's my card. That's my number. You call me if there is anything urgent. Thank you very much. But do something immediately, please. I will do that, sir. Let it not be that something has happened to this young man, please. I don't want that to happen. I've actually taken my leave, sir. No problem. And thank you for coming. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, back, Monka. Daddy. Where are my daughter? Yes, Daddy. Good afternoon. Yeah, my dear. You were saying something. I am ready to hear you now. So speak. Okay. Dad. Yes. I... I really don't know how you will react on what I want to discuss with you. But... I feel comfortable speaking to you than my mother. Okay. I'm listening. Okay, Father. Daddy, can we change our church? Why, why will you make such a request? Daddy, yes. you know that you're not always around. That's true. That's true. And I am the one participating virtually in all the departments in the church. Exactly. Yeah. Daddy. Yes. To be frank with you, this church is not the same church Pastor Daskanga founded. Honestly. You are making a weighty statement and uh, I think I want to know more about this. Daddy, I don't know how to explain this, but I don't feel that spiritual refreshment I do feel in that church. I don't feel it anymore. Really? Yes, Daddy. So, which other fellowship do you want to be attending now? Daddy, I never wanted to make this a personal thing. I really want you to follow me to my newfound fellowship and convince Mom to go with us. <laughs> hey, Clara, my daughter. Yes, Daddy. You know, I trust you a whole lot. Thank you, Dad. After all, it is one God and one covenant of salvation. Yes, Daddy. If you have made up your mind to attend another fellowship, so be it, you have my consent. Daddy, that doesn't mean that you are not going with me and you are not convincing Mom to go with us. Oh, this is heavenly race. It is a personal thing. Eh? Me, I am not going to any other church. In fact, for me, I have invested a lot in that power from my booth ministry. And I cannot possibly quit at this moment. It's not possible. Daddy. And my dear, like I said before, this is heavenly race. Oh, see, if you want to go, you go there. And who knows whether God will bring your man your way there. Daddy. The last I heard from him was when he called me that he is on his way to Chief Okundu's uh, village residence. That the man contacted him for technical work in the village uh, castle that he's putting up there. Now that you have not seen him, have you consulted the chief in question? Yes, I'm just coming from his place. 
And he categorically told me that he has not heard from my friend. <sighs> you will give me his number. Of the sub chief. Then we will continue our investigation from there. Let's come in. Well, gentlemen, please, you may be seated. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Thank you, Chief. I am ready to hear you. Yes, sir. We are here in respect of uh, Mr. Vincent, who was declared missing. So please, if we may ask, what was your last encounter with him? Well, Vincent is my boy. A very good boy. And he has been my boy since he left the technical college. He has been the one in charge of furnishings and everything technical in all my houses. He came here to take measurement of the wardrobe I have in my room upstairs. Because there is this mansion I am putting up in my village and I wanted him to replicate that same wardrobe in almost all the rooms in that house. So he came here to take measurement. And uh, he left from here. And then he sent me you know, a message demanding for deposit and I wired money into his account. I tried to call him and then his number didn't connect. I actually thought it may be network or something. I'm not a phone person. And I forgot about that. I have not uh, bothered to call again until his friend came here yesterday to say that uh, he has not called anyone. Have you called your workers in the village to confirm if someone like that actually came? Yes, I did. And that was after his friend left here yesterday. I called them and they told me that uh, nobody came. So you mean he did not travel? That is what it means because uh, he didn't get to my village and I, I am still surprised. He left from here and he told me that he was going to my village. But my workers in the village confirmed to me yesterday when I called that he didn't come there. So sir, please, do you have any idea where he might be? I don't. You know, honestly, I don't. And I, I am, I, I, I don't understand. I, if not that his friend came here yesterday, I actually thought that uh, the job I sent him to do in my village is going on. I was the one that asked the friend to get the police involved because uh, the whole thing is just very confusing to me. It's all right, Chief. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. We shall get back to you for further questioning if the need arises. Thank you very much, uh, Detective Johnson, for actually getting involved. I am impressed and I'm happy. If there is any other way you need me to assist in this process of finding Vincent, just let me know. It's all right, Chief. Uh, we do hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this meeting. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, then. Officer, who could have done this to my friend? We still don't have the answers yet. But his remains was found by the highway patrol. There is a deep cut on his head and a stab on his stomach. His identity card made the officers to recognize is the one we are looking for. We have deposited his corpse at the mortuary. My friend was a peaceful man. He hardly had issues with anyone. Who could have murdered him? Or was he attacked by armed robbers? We are still investigating. But I believe the answers will be found soon. A cut on his head and a stab on his stomach could only prove one thing, that he was murdered. That is what the investigation will reveal. Be assured that no stone will be left unturned. Please, sir, do everything that you can. Do not worry. Be rest assured that the killer will be brought to book. Accept my heartfelt condolence.
You still look awful. Is it because of the announcement of uh, Vincent's death? <sighs> it is devastating. Yes. Very devastating. It is. Now I remember he called me to say that he was traveling. I said a word of prayer with him. Same here. It's really sad that a dedicated church worker would die like this. Mm. He doesn't deserve this. We can't question God now, can we? <clears throat> we can't. We can't. We would have to pay his mother a condolence visit this evening. Please. Oh, I'm not available today. Why? I have that program with the widows tomorrow, so I, I need to prepare today and uh, meet with uh, some people. But I will make time. I'll make, I'll make time to go on my own. That's fine. It's okay. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'll be at my office in 30, 40 minutes, barring traffic. I would like you to please accompany me to a condolence visit today. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yes, see you soon at the office. Bye. So that. Yes. Have a good day. Come in. Good day, boss. Ah. Bless God. I understand. I know that you are broken. My heartfelt condolences and the loss of your friend. I want you to, to take heart. Thank you, Pastor. I still can believe the fact that Vincent is gone and would not come back to life. The mystery of life. It evaporates without notice. That's true, Pastor. But life did not just evaporate from Vincent. According to the DPO, he was caught in the head and stabbed in the stomach. It simply means that he was murdered. I'm trying to understand why anyone would kill an innocent man like Vincent. Confusing. Very, very confusing. The condolence visit you mentioned over the phone, is it to Vincent? Oh yes. You know, you came to mind the moment I thought about it. Even though you no longer come to church, but I remember clearly that both of you were very, very close. Well, actually, Pastor, I still have my reservations with what the Pentecostal movement has become. But this is not the right place for us to discuss that. When are we going? Oh, today, if you will, I just um, need someone who knows the family to be with me. We can. I believe his family will be pleased to have a man like you in the house. Thank you very much. For agreeing to come. And you just give me a few minutes, let me tidy a few things up and then we shall be on our way. Sina. 
til navn. Yes. Så er det. Who are the girls? Uh, powerful and reliable girls that can help us handle it. Mm. Reliable? How reliable? Reliable enough to know what they can say and what they must go to their graves with. I would say you should forget about it. They can handle it. Who am I to doubt you? You are the master of everything. And you must be the one to be protected at all cost. So what's up? What's the news? Well, my husband has gone to the um, to the house to pay them a condolence visit. Mm. But I told him I have an urgent event with the widows. <laughs> that is very good. Let me get us something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay? Okay. Pastor, he called to inform me that he had bought a car and even indicated readiness to get married. All those did not happen. There lies my son. That's his credit. Madam, I understand how you feel. And I want you to know that I'm in this pain with you. Vincent, your son, was one of the most dedicated workers of the church. Please. My prayer is that the Lord would give you the peace that you need at a time like this. I've also come here, madam, to assure you that our God is ever so faithful with his promises. Please have faith, for he will never abandon you. Pastor, I feel abandoned. Somebody killed my son, and up till now, the killer has not been found. <laughs> Mama, Mama, please take it easy. Mama, we are on it, and the police have assured us that no matter where the killers are hiding, they will surely be fished out. Mama, please take it easy. Please. I will. I will. Please stop crying. Madam, I want you to know that as we speak, that has also become a prayer point in church. Mm. And I'm confident that God will answer. He may delay. But he will eventually answer. For all those who rise up against the children of God will never know peace. Please. Stop crying. Please. that you had come with me to this condolence visit. You would have had so much pity for this woman. I thank God I didn't go with you. I wouldn't have been able to stand it. The world has become so evil. is now a wicked place. I will trust the good Lord to always protect his own. Amen. Amen. But the death of this young man is so painful. Such a promising young man cut down in his prime. And for what? He's so painful. Very sad. Very sad. But God will always rise when we least suspect. Yes. Yes. Amen. That is why he is God. You will talk about this, Sig. 
face it. Is he still today? Yes. I have asked some of the church members to meet me up on the street there. We need to go in a group. I think it will lift her spirit. You know, I can't thank God enough for the kind of anointing this poured on you. You know, those women will always be grateful they have you. We thank the good Lord for his blessing. Thank you, my husband. You're welcome, always. Hey, Mom. What is this nonsense I heard from your father? I don't know what you heard from my dad, Mom. Clara, don't joke with me because you know exactly what I'm saying. I had a lot of conversation with my father. I don't know the one you are referring to as nonsense. Your father said you are changing fellowship. What does that mean? Does it mean that you are not seeing what is happening in that power from above ministry? Clara, yes, ma there is nothing wrong with that ministry. You just want to change fellowship because you want to stay out of my sight and start living a wayward life. I will not allow that. <laughs> Mom, you make me laugh. Do you think that if I've decided to live a wayward life that you can stop me? Clara? Yes, Mom. I don't want to hold this discussion anymore. You are not changing any fellowship and that is final. Mom, don't be rigid. I've had this conversation with my father. He understands that this is one God, one covenant of salvation. Why can't you understand my point? My father has given his consent. And I am your mother. I am the one who will decide what your spiritual life will become. I don't want to say anything about this nigga. Go and prepare for fellowship. Um, mommy. Debut, I have not heard anything about my late friend's case. Your friend's case is a complex one that requires a lot of forensic investigations. The officers are on it and I know they will come up with good news. From what we have seen, your friend's case is a planned assassination. But those people that executed the plans left no clue for investigations. Who could have done this? Because I had no idea of him having any problem with anybody at any point in time. In fact, he does not even keep friends. You don't know of him disappointing anyone? in the line of his job? No. He does not do that. That's the more reason this whole thing is getting me confused. Please, Debbie, I am counting on you to make sure that these people are brought to book. I assure you we will. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I beg to take my leave. IPO James, are you there? Yes, sir. Please bring me the late recent case file. Okay, sir. Here's the file, sir. We have new findings. New findings? Yes, sir. I hope they are all been fine. Yes, sir. Everything is in the file, sir. Good. Go back to the department. Uh, Chief, I understand you. 
but we have a very delicate situation here. You see, we are trying our best to track the killers. But everything that is needed for our investigation to be successful is not forthcoming. Although we couldn't find his phone, but we have a secured information on the last person who called him. In that case, the person has to be invited or even arrested for questioning. The number is not registered. How do you mean? That is the only call ever from that phone. The person stopped using the phone immediately after he made the call. It can only mean one thing. That's a planned assassination. Something like that. Lipio, I was... Uh, I was devastated when I met the mother. She has become a wreck because she lost her son. And that, you can understand that. I am prepared to assist the police in whatever way you want for this investigation to be carried out thoroughly. I want the police to go all out to find the killer or the killers and brought them to book. If you need financial assistance from me, I am ready. Even if you need mobility vehicle, utility vehicle from me, I am going to provide one vehicle. Because that young man was very close to me. And I am so certain that once the process of prosecuting the killer starts, it will go a long way to heal that woman. Uh, Chief, I understand your plight. If you wish to assist us in any way to aid our investigations, it will be appreciated. But one thing I assure you, that we will not leave anything behind. I know the killers are out there. We will find them. I'd like to hear you say that, DPO. You know what? Send me your account details, and for a start, I am going to transfer you one millionaire. Chief, that's good of you. <laughs> How could you quench the fire that keeps you warm? How could you open the door to the winter cold? How could you let this evil creep into your heart? Now it's killing you inside Lord, there's a man down A man down We're begging for your mercy Oh, Lord, there's a man down A man down We're begging for your mercy Yeah, I cry I don't know if you call my ogre, because it's not around now. Oh yes, um, he's actually right behind me. He'll be here in about 10 minutes. That's fine. And why are you looking at me like that? I'm sorry, ma. I'm just admiring very full, ma. Sorry that, sorry, sorry to have kept you with. You're not looking good. What is the problem? It's your gates, man. I don't like the way he looks at me. One can easily see the lust in his eyes. I will talk to him. 
and I am sorry about that. But in all honesty, beautiful Mrs. Daskanga, you can hardly blame the young man. Look at you. You are so beautiful. And any man who is normal, I mean any man who is biologically sound, who sees you, must be forced to look at you the second time. I know you know what I'm talking about. I see you're not going to talk to him. Of course I will. I will talk to him. But you see, this news about the death of my technician, it has just devastated me. It bothers me so much because he was such a good boy to me. A boy who has never disappointed me even once. It's really bothering you, right? Yes. It's bothering me. And I am just... Um, I, I, am, I am so much bothered because... You know, considering the way he died, I am kind of directly involved with this whole thing. He traveled from here because of me. Even though it has been established that he didn't travel because uh, his corpse was found in this town. But uh, it is still bothering me why such a promising young man will die the way he did. What are the police saying? They say they're investigating, but I don't actually understand what they're investigating. They are very slow, as far as I'm concerned. And the way it is going, they may not even be able to do anything. Chief, you have to take it easy. The police are trying. At least you said it yourself. The corpse has been discovered. What if it was left in the bush or something to rotten? I am just praying that the killers will not go unpunished. I just want them to fish them out and make them pay. Why will anybody murder such a promising young man, very hardworking young man? Such is life. Such is life, Chief. Hey, <sighs> I, um, I, I came to spend some time with you, but given the circumstance, I guess I'll take my leave. You don't even say that. Because you know it yourself that you are the only one who can cheer me up. Please, don't. Just. I, I should be the one, I should be the one begging you not to go anywhere. <laughs> you see what I did with you for me? What? Should you go and shower or should I be the one that will do that? <laughs> we both can go into the shower. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. <laughs> I love this one. Let's do this. the cleaner clean my office, okay? okay. Alright, and lock it up right okay. outside. Babes, who is she? I mean, I'm impressed with the way she looks. First of all, stop calling me babes. We're in the church premises. And secondly, she's one of the choristers. Choristers? Yes. Impressive. <laughs> What's so impressive about that? You know, people like her actually make me remember what people say. That church is indeed a big business. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I don't like to hear people say that. Let's talk this over lunch, okay? All right, let's go. Meanwhile, this dressing is flying, girl. <laughs> girl, where are you flying to? To heaven, my Oh, darling. my days. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, Pastor. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. I came to let you know that I'm leaving. Is everything all right? Everything is fine, sir. I have something urgent to attend to. Others are still with him. Oh, I see. Um, so who will be leading the choir in your absence? Oh, my wife? No, sir. She just stepped out. We are just practicing within ourselves. All right, that's fine then. Um, it's okay. You can be on your way. Okay, I'll Please. be on my way, sir. God bless you. I don't get it. Like, I really don't, don't get it. Those girls you saw in my house that day, they are making money for me. 
and they are getting their percentage. What sort of business do they do for you? We live in the world where everything is possible. Let's take for instance, the choir girls in your church. Do you know you can use them to make money off the wealthy men that come to your church? Are you crazy? Are you, do you know what you're suggesting? In the house of the Lord? Prostitution is the oldest profession in the world. You can check your history. I mean, it started in the church. Like I said, check your history if you think I'm lying. I am not saying that you're lying. But that happened in, in the old Orthodox religion and not in the church of today. Says the one who needs money to do a lot of things and is, and is bringing in nonsense and timony into something that will bring us money. Babes, take it or leave it. Sex is the biggest business on earth. Okay, look, I'm not saying you should use the old members in your church because those ones, they may not understand. I mean, I mean those ones wallowing in the holier than thou attitude. Get the new members. You see those ones? They will dance to your tone. They will respect you. They will fall at your feet. They will be under an oath. Come on now. Be reasonable. Oh, please. Don't insult me in the name of counseling. I'll look into it. <laughs> I don't know why, Sandra, you're too dull. You are too dull. For one thing, I know your husband may be banging one of those quiet members. Stop it. Stop it. I'll let you catch them one day. You know what? Can we change this conversation? Let's make money. Talk about Tina as though she's evil. She's just my friend. You make bold to call a character like that your friend. I mean, she's my friend, but you sound like she's evil and she's ready to kill. She's an unbeliever. I've told you so many times that you cannot mingle with someone like that. She has sold her soul to the devil. You cannot be yoked with someone like that. And we cannot desert her because she doesn't attend our fellowship. Uh, 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 this is not about fellowship. This is not about her not attending my fellowship, for she doesn't attend any fellowship at all. Yet yeah, she calls herself a Christian. A few times that I've had a chance to speak with her, I could tell that she has sold her soul to the devil. Please, stay away from her. I understand. But I believe she will change if we continue to talk to her. Change is good. For change is permanent. But you have to be very careful with her. For a gospel figure like you, a minister of God, cannot be found with a character like that. It is not right. I've heard you. I understand. Thank you. money to do a lot of things and it's, and it's bringing in nonsense and timony into something that will bring us money. Babes, take it or leave it. Sex is the biggest business on earth. 
Okay. Look, I'm not saying you should use the old members in your church because those ones, they may not understand. I mean, I mean those ones wallowing in the holier than thou attitude. Get the new members. You see those ones? They will dance to your tune. They will respect you. They will fall at your feet. They will be under an oath. Come on now. Be reasonable. Darling, here you are. I thought you'd be all dressed up ready by now. What for? What do you mean, what for? Did you forget that it's Reverend Booker's birthday party today? You forgot. Please just give me some time. I'll, I'll change. I'll be very quick. We're running late as it is. I'll be very fast. Please. Uh, Girls, this is your new instructor. She'll give you further directives on what to do. So you will follow her as soon as she's leaving. Thank you. Now each of you, drink from that plate. Need I remind you that if you tell anyone anything whatsoever, you will die instantly. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Now drink. You can leave. I'll call you back when I need you. Thank you. I can't believe you're making me do this. Are you sure you're not misleading me? Misleading you? Why are you insulting yourself saying I'm misleading you? I am leading you to where the money is. I mean... Close your eyes and visualize those girls in choir uniform. They will look amazing. And why haven't I been able to rebuke you? Give me what I'm saying. Rebuke me because of what? Because I am telling you the truth? Ha! Babes, I did take you when one day you they say you want to rebuke me. Okay, you, your pastor, and the rest that have started rebuking the devil since have you succeeded? Is the devil not still doing his thing? What's your point? My point is you all are fooling yourselves. Come on now. The devil just did it in look on an open eye. No, no. See, just see the money now. See the money they flow. Just imagine when those men find out that you now understand the business. Babes, you go just need pack money. Open your eyes and see what I'm trying to tell you. But... Make sure you give me my percentage. Please. Ha. So, we're really going to do this? What do you mean? I just led those girls to an oath. See, you see those girls? They are all out for you. Anything you tell them to do, they will do it. And now that they know that you have the platform, they will respect you more than the real members of your church. Babes, you have earned your respect. 
calm down and enjoy this money. Okay? The only thing I will tell is don't rock this boat. Please. She'll be here shortly. Sent for me, Ma. Yes, Deborah. Is brother Timothy around? Yes, I can find him. It's okay. I want you to take this message back to him. See those ladies? They are our new members. I want them to um, join you, join the choir. They're very good, but I still want them to learn from you. All right? Um, ladies, please introduce yourselves. My name is Susan. I'm Mirabel. My name is Clara. You're welcome to Power From Above Ministry. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, so um, they'll join you. All right, ma. Ladies. Get to work. You will um, join Deborah and let her teach you the ropes. Learn real quick because there's a service on Sunday and I want you to make a catch. Sure, ma'am. Okay. We know the support. Very well then. You will leave. We just have to practice along with them for now. Even though they sing like people in a clubhouse. And honestly, I do not see the spirit, not the fruit of the spirit in them. That is the point we are doing. If you ask me, those girls need serious deliverance. Very serious one. Okay, just um, can we forget about them for now? Alright? Let me have a uh, uh, call for the meeting. Still have it, right? Okay. Have it, right? Yes. Okay. By the way, you sound so beautiful today. Thank you. All right. Have a wonderful day. Okay. More grace. To thank the both of you for taking our time again to come see me and that is because the two of you want this wonderful union that you have to work and my prayer is that the good lord continues to bless your holy intentions amen, amen. thank you pastor you have been so wonderful and useful to our union we really appreciate it thank you you are welcome. I want you both to know that the principles that govern marriage patience, tolerance, trustworthiness, loyalty, very important, and of course counseling, which is why you're here. I tell people all the time, it's not just when you're all excited about getting married to your spouse, uh, your prospective partner that you come in for counseling and then forget all about it, uh, where you get no it continues even after your wedding for you need to understand in totality the basic ethics and principles that govern marriage and my 
communicating. Yes. I also want you to know that uh, the both of you must uh, learn very early in marriage to be free with yourselves. And as for you, the husband, you you have to be very truthful to her, very transparent to her, uh, and not just him. Same goes for you too, my sister. Uh, a lot of marriages have failed today because people have taken counseling for granted. They have not invested a lot of time in counseling. It takes a lot of work, both of you, two separate entities trying very hard to come together. Two different people, separate orientation, but because you have found love, we'll continue to pray that the love of God that supersedes all things continues to keep you together. Amen. But only counseling can teach you that and that is why you find that a lot of marriages today have ended because of the lack of patience, the lack of tolerance, the lack of understanding. But I pray very hard that that will not be your portion. Amen. Uh, Sister Mildred. Yes, Pastor. I hope you know that the home belongs to the woman. I know, Pastor. So you have to take charge of your home. So I will need you to take charge of your home. Uh, Yes, we have to take charge. You don't wait for the devil to do that and before you begin to pray. No, you take charge of your home. Am I communicating? Yes, Master. Give your hands. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those ones. I ask that you continue to bless their whole intentions. For you alone can keep them together. My prayer is that at the end of the day, we glorify your name, Father. The intentions of their hearts are evident every day as they want to continue to... What is your problem? Why must you touch me like that? The more I try to convince myself that you and your colleagues are genuine, the more it dawns on me that you all are what I think. And what nonsense are you talking about? What do you think of us? Do people have different motives for coming to church? Are you here to build us or to bring us down? You know what? I have an appointment with the pastor. And he should be done with his visitors by now. I don't think I have time for a troublemaker like this. Excuse me. I trust my pastor will see through you. Evil generation. Come in, please. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm very nice. Please sit. I should sit. Please sit. Okay, Pastor. I have called you here because I have specific questions that would require specific answers from you. Okay. Before you joined this ministry, who was your pastor? I never told anyone I had a pastor. Yes, I was attending a fellowship, but I was never close to the pastor. 
I see. And so how did you hear of our ministry? Joined and became a part of the choir. How did that happen? Our mommy, that's your wife. She ministered to us and we experienced the kind of anointing that we've never experienced before. Oh God. That is where we came. And so far, we've been happy in this ministry. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I want you to leave you with a few words of encouragement, something that will help you grow your faith. Okay. Susan, I want you to know that there is no miracle bigger than the miracle of salvation. And when you experience that kind of miracle, hold it and not lose it. A lot of people have lost theirs. But I do not want to see the members of my church lose theirs. Okay, Pastor. Hold it. Pastor, I heard what you said and I promise not to let you down. Remain blessed. Thank you, Pastor. Day. Ah, it was another beautiful day. Ah, oh, bless God. You did not tell me that we now have new sets of choir members in the church. Well, that's because you are too busy to be bothered about little things like that. You expect me to disturb you. Disturb you about choir members? No. I can handle it. That's why I'm your wife. That's why you're my blessing. I'm always thankful to God for bringing you my way. You are the most understanding and patient woman that I know. You are the best decision that I have made in my life. You see that beautiful decision that I made 18 years ago to be with you has given birth to the life that I'm enjoying today. You see, when I see women in church place you as their role model, my heart is full of joy. My prayer is that the Lord continues to strengthen you. Amen. You are a good woman. Thank you. And I thank God for you. You have your way with words. And you're perfect. You are also the best decision I've ever made in my life. You built me up to perfection. You taught me everything that I know. I thank God. I thank God for giving me such a, a God-fearing man, filled with love and humanity. The dream of every woman. You see now that you have the words to <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say that I noticed that you... You take alcohol now. Why? 
Well, it's not a sin, is it? According to the gospel, as written by the apostles, and as preached by them, you can have a little bit of alcohol. Besides, it was for a purpose. And you're not going to tell me what that purpose is now, are you? Really, honey? You want us to begin to discuss the purpose of alcohol right now? You're tired and you're hungry. So hurry up, take a shower, and I'll fix you dinner. Okay? I'll be right back. That's fine. know why I called you out here. We are here for choir practice. And why are we here holding this unnecessary meeting instead of practicing inside? This meeting is not unnecessary. We are here for practice. And others are doing that, but you are distracting them. And how are we distracting the choir practice? By suggesting we should learn dancing as part of our practice. It's not even a decent, godly dance steps. It's the type you have in the club, in some nightclubs. Why does it appear like you're still living in a stone age? Excuse me. Dancing makes God happy. Yes. And there is nothing wrong in dancing in the church. I don't know about you, but I can't cope with this. Then leave. We are here to pack up your dull pile. You should be happy about that. And not this unnecessary argument. My house shall be called a house of prayer, not a den of thieves and robbers. I'll not warn you again. <laughs> what was that? Laughing, my dear. Let's continue. Continue. Hello, I am continue. We are all welcome. What is this? There is only one way to handle this. Tell mommy about it. I am sure they will listen to her. I readily see the manifestations of demonic spirits in those girls. Harabahosh karabaha. But listen, by God, we will uproot them from this church because they are not born again in any way. I thought as much. But I am still wondering how they were able to convince mommy to bring them into the choir. I am assuming we are done with today's practice. And that is why you both left the practice to come here and discuss. We have not come to an end. We are just trying to find a solution to the problem you created with your group. <laughs> problem we created. And what do you mean by that? What is it, Deborah? Ma, I just came to complain to you. And what complaint is that? It is about the new girls that joined us. They are not serious. I mean, they are making things more difficult for us. What's that supposed to mean? They play too much, trying to turn the choir into a music group. They are not concerned about the solemnity of the song. They are just concerned about what will interest the people. And that is not the training we received. Hmm. Deborah, we need to learn to tolerate people. Train them. And they will come around. That is what bringing people into the kingdom of God means. We do not throw people away. That is not the kind of church that we are. We are hoping for more people to come. Okay? Let's just continue to tolerate them and train them, okay? But I will speak to them. Okay, ma. Can you please call Brother Timothy for me if he's still around? All right, ma. All right. Thank you so much. Over 
Marcelo's Debra. Can't you mind your business? as if this plan is really working. You know, girl, I say this without mincing any words. Mm -hmm. These men are completely useless. <laughs> I tell you that. You see those ones that act holier than thou attitude in church? Those ones, they are the worst sinners. Tell me about it. <clears throat> These men that will not donate a cobot to the church are the same men giving these girls money. And can you even believe that one of the men is planning to travel with one of the girls to the U.S.? <clears throat> I am not surprised. I don't want my husband to fall prey on. It will destroy the ministry. Nah. They wouldn't do that. Your husband would prefer to go outside. All men cheat. It's in their DNA. It's in their nature. But what is our business? Ours is to make money from their stupidity. Could this be the reason you stopped attending church programs? Um, there are still some real men of God. But they are not in these so-called ministry churches. Those ones are business centers. Now that we are on the same level, I'll teach you how to make money. Talking about that, I want to cut ties with Chief. Why? Because the man won't let me breathe. He's all over me and I feel like he will ruin my marriage. I don't want that to happen. Uh -uh. That man is too smart. That man is in love. Girl, you needed to hear what he was telling me. That you are so sweet that you torn his hair. Now you are going to capitalize on that. Milk him dry, like <sighs> milk him dry. In money long. That guy has got money. His money is linked with the national security. And baby girl, that is where the money is. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, I can talk now. Is it fair keeping the lady waiting? I'm here already. And the man is nowhere to be found. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I was held back by my wife. Uh, but not to worry. Uh, feel free. Order anything you want to eat. I'll join you shortly. Uh, yes, eat and drink. I will, I will join you shortly. You see, I got that letter from the orphanage and um, they were asking me for donation and uh, you know the country we live in. I decided to call you to uh, ascertain the authenticity of that letter. Eh? Yes. Seems your wife has walked up to you. Deal with that and call me back later. <sighs> Thank you very much. Now that I have the confirmation that I seek, I will get back to you with the specifics. Eh? Okay, what is it? Hello, this is Mrs. Okere. Who is this person that is asking for a donation from my husband? Hello, this is Dorothy from Trinity of Anitor. Is there a problem, ma? Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Hello? Hello? Just listen. Are you happy now? Huh? I am trying so hard to understand when all this started. Yeah. Why did you snatch the phone from my ear? I am also trying so hard to understand when you started coming out here to answer your calls. What are you hiding for your wife? Nika, I'm not going to allow you to ruin my mood with this nonsense. I'll talk about this when I get back. And where do you think you are going to? To get my khakis, of course. I'm going out. Or do you have any issue with that?
Ah! Take it easy. Oh, look, look. How can I? You are too sweet to be taking this. Because he likes it. Who's calling me? Oh. Good afternoon, Mrs. Ukeri. Good afternoon, my dear. But I'm not happy. Hmm. What's the problem? I cannot explain. But I have this strong feeling that my husband is falling off the fate. And why would you say that? My husband is behaving strangely lately. He no longer picks his cause before me. I have this feeling that He's seen another woman. And that thought alone is killing me slowly. Hmm. You need to reinvent yourself, Mrs. Okiri, before you destroy your home. Yes, you need to pray fervently for your marriage. Ask God to heal whatever it is that you're going through. You know God is always faithful and ready to help his own people. Okay, thank you so much. I needed someone to tell me this. It is okay, Mrs. Okiri. That is why I am your pastor. To help you when you are deviating. Don't worry, I will call you when I get home. And we can pray together. I will give you Bible verses and I will tell you what to do. You know, the Lord is faithful. Yes, so the Lord is faithful. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Okay. Bye-bye, Mrs. Okiri. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey! What was that? Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mimi? Hi. You're a very smart girl. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, I, 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 I did not know you were going to cast that drifting. <laughs> Come on, T. Give me some credit. Immediately you drifted from our main discussion. Mm -hmm. Ah, I just figured out your wife must have bumped into you. Mm -hmm. And I knew she would do that thing she did. I had to hold on to clear the road for you. You know now. Hey, you finished work. <laughs> Honestly, you finished work. I'm sure she would never in this life doubt me again. Mm -hmm. Bad man. <laughs> Please, enough of your wife and all those jargons. Mm. I want to the documents. Us. Okay. <laughs> so, bring it on. What do you want us to talk about? Chief. What? Chief darling. Uh, <laughs> you promised to take me to the US. I don't have a visa. Ah. That one? Yes. There are many countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are, there are many small countries in the Caribbean where one can actually visit without a visa. <laughs> Tell me about it. Let me tell you something. I have concluded plans to take you out of this country where nothing works. Aww. But I want to take you to a destination where I will have you all to myself all day long without disturbance. Oh, it, it sounds so romantic. <laughs> you know what? Anytime you need my passport mm -hmm. and my information, just tell me and no, boom, no I'll be, send it. No ah, be, no yes, be, no yes. No <laughs> no I heard your conversation on the phone. Has it not boiled down to all I was saying? How do you mean? Let's hear that thinks he's standing, be very careful because he can easily fall. Tired you driving? You complain that father seems to be falling off the faith. And haven't you noticed that his behavior lately is suspicious? He's not behaving like a man having a stomata affair. And you've not figured out that it has something to do with your compromised church? Which church did you just call compromised? The same church you insisted I should not change. Have you not seen the choir? The new members, do they look like believers? Do they? So now, believers are known by their looks. Clarion, please, I don't want to raise this topic again. My God, 
Why is she not seeing what is very open? This is very clear. Why is she not seeing it? And why would you draw that conclusion? I have not concluded, sir. But, sir, I feel you should stop that woman from visiting here. And possibly talk to Madame to stop going to her place. Gerard, there must be a reason you're saying this. I have told you to feel free to speak to me. If you feel anything that's going wrong around here, that is why I have you here as my housekeeper. Yes, sir, you said that. Uh, sir. So I, I don't know what else to say, but I believe if you pay more attention, you understand what is going on. It's okay. I will take it from here. You can go back to your post. Thank you. Sir. sleep or oh, run sleep. Why don't you pick a call? No. She might worry. Oh, come on. She has no reason to be worried at all. I provided her with everything she needs in that house. Why should she keep disturbing me? What nonsense is this? What kind of meeting will drag into this lady? And he knows I'll be very worried. Eh? He's not picking his calls. So, why won't she allow me a moment of comfort and joy like this one? I am with the woman that gives me joy and happiness. So she should allow me to enjoy myself. Or oh, didn't you hear that song? <laughs> allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. And that's what I'm doing exactly. Come on, have a seat. Wait, wait, wait. So what? Is this a way of trying to tell me that you're going to spend the night with me here? Uh, not really, because that will amount to looking for trouble. <laughs> I will go to my house, but not until I am thoroughly through with you. <laughs> you know I wouldn't want to come between you and your wife. Ah. But if a beautiful woman like you decides to, so be it. I have no regret whatsoever. <laughs> take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Come on, T. Wait. Let's, let's forget about this joke for me. That won't make sense, so seriously. How? Oh. What would you say in church? Which church? Pastor Daskanga oh. will be very, very disappointed with you. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Pastor Daskanga mm -hmm. cannot risk losing me. Jeez, yes. <laughs> Looking at the amount of money I do out of that uh -huh. church every month, in fact, he cannot think of anything that would make me angry. Huh? This is why I trust you. <laughs> Come, let me give you one for the road. One for the road? Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chief, Chief. Mm -hmm. Chief, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come to bed. Mm -hmm. Come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Have I done anything wrong? Sandra. 
even as hard as you try to pretend and cover it up, it is very clear that you have been taking alcohol all day. What is the meaning of this now? Eh? Why do you always think the worst of me? You should be the one to tell me why you have changed. Sandra, if a shepherd like you can get involved in this level of sin and worldliness, what do you think the sheep would do? With all due respect, you're beginning to judge me and I do not like it. How have I judged you? Are you trying to say that it is right to take alcohol the way you do? Well, what goes into a child of God does not defile him or her. It is what comes out that defiles the believer. The Bible is very clear and explicit on that. And by your close relationship with this woman that I have told you to stop mingling with, can you look me in the eye with a word of faith and tell me that nothing defiling has been coming out of you since you got yourself involved in that unholy and ungodly fraternity? Ungodly fraternity? What does that even mean? By disobeying the word of God. Getting unequally yoked with an unbeliever. By exposing yourself to the manipulation of Lucifer. The man of sin. By disobeying your husband. Continuing a relationship with a woman he has clearly told you to stay away from Sandra. You are losing your place as the mother of the church. I need you to think about this. I don't know why you keep bringing wild interpretations into everything. Aren't you the cause? Aren't you the cause? Is that the the welcome hug you are supposed to give to your husband that you have not seen since last night? By the way, what do you learn from that church you attend every day? Don't even pay touch into this matter because you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your phone was not connected. It got me worried. Well, actually my phone went off. Uh, sorry I did not inform you. Uh, the meeting lasted long into the night and uh, we have to stay back. In fact, everybody, everybody stayed back. Why do you even have to bring up this attitude as if you don't know the situation of the security in the country? Eh? What have I done to this man? I used to give it to him anyhow he wants. Why is he doing this to me? Good afternoon, Mirabel. Why are you late? And what happened? You sounded worried over the phone. Is everything is everything okay? Please, ma. For how long are we expected to continue doing this? I 
I don't know why you are looking at me this way. I just asked a question and I need an answer. Uh, Mirabel, honestly, I don't understand why you're asking this question because you all are doing very well. The men are visiting the church now more than ever. Why would you think of quitting? You see, I feel so terrible when I sit in the church and the coordinator will ask the members to start praying against the evil people that have come to destroy the church. Look at this stupid girl. How is that your business? Oh, are you an evil person? Hey, Mirabel. We are here for business. Do you hear me, Mom? Business. So why do you think love quitting? It appears no one understands me. Yes, we do. But the truth is, I am scared. Enough of this nonsense, Mirabel. Why are you giving way to fear where there is no? This is why you don't get real men with real money. Yes. Look at Susan here. She leaves on Friday for Barbados. Traveling with another woman's husband? Has it ever occurred to us that the woman might be praying down the Holy Ghost fire upon the head of a person trying to destroy her husband? And in your stupidity, you think that that fire fire thing works? Come on, girl, grow up. Okay, you know what, ladies? I need to end this meeting right now, but I need to talk to Mirabel, so excuse me. I'm surprised that his killer has not been found up till now. I don't think he was murdered by one person. Because Vincent is a very strong man. No one man can overpower him like that. What I think is that he was murdered by a group of people. I just don't know why the police are wasting so much time. I don't know what else you want them to do. I feel they are doing their best. Unmasking a case without any weakness is always a Herculean tax. So what is the need of forensic science? I believe those people who got rid of Vincent may have touched his car and other places. He's let the police start from there. What are they doing? Did you mention this to them? I just don't want any officer to hate me. Label me that I want to teach him how to do his job. I just believe they should know all this. Honestly, I am losing my husband. You need to stop crying. You don't need tears right now. What you need is prayer. It is not easy for me. I don't know what came over him. He suddenly turned to a cheat. He cares less about anything in the house anymore. I thank God the children are grown up and in school. How would I have explained to them if they come back asking questions? How? You see, when the devil wants to use you, he must prove to him that you are a child of God. This is just the devil being the devil. But don't worry, we will overcome. You bring your husband so we can have a counseling session. And by God's grace, everything will be fine. Do not let this weigh you down. Okay? Okay, Master. Thank you. It is well. Stop crying. Thank you. Good. Please. Please, you have to follow me for counseling. Because I can see that the devil is using it to destroy our home. It is you that the devil is using, not me. I am very comfortable with my marriage. Yes, I have no issues. Rather, it is you who is cooking up issues where there's none. Let me ask you. What is it that you lack in this house? 
And why did you suddenly become afraid with me traveling overseas? Why? If you're traveling overseas, I'm traveling with you. Says who? Eh? You're traveling with me. Because I am the only married man on earth. Every man that is coming to that international conference is coming alone. So why should I be the only man that will come with his wife hung on his neck? For your information, your traveling passport is with me. And I'm not going to release it to you until you tell me what is going on. Wait. Gineka. You mean you have the audacity to seize my travel document? And if you provoke me the more, I'm going to burn it. We are married. I will not allow you to humiliate me. If I must release it to you, you must follow me for counseling. Simple. Mr. Okiri. Oh, my pastor. Um, I want to personally plead with you to please forgive and forget. Whatever it is that she has done to you, please forgive. Ultimately, love rules. And we should not allow a third party into our marriage. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you very much. I appreciate your involvement in this matter that has to do with my family. It goes to show that you are a very good pastor and may God continue to bless you. Amen. You see, my wife has not always been like this. And I don't... that is why you should know that there is something you are doing now, which you weren't dreamed before. And that thing is our problem. If you can stop it, then we don't have a problem. Are you seeing it? This is where the problem lies. In fact, this is where the problem is coming out from exactly. Looking for issues, I mean, cooking up issues where there's none. Gineka. Gineka. Can you please put an end to this? We don't have any problem. You are just cooking it up. And you know it. Emma. We don't have any problems. We don't have any. Yeah, at all. I believe you heard that. And I believe that too. No problems. And the good Lord will heal this marriage. Amen. Amen. You see, Marriage needs patience and tolerance. Yes. And that patience and tolerance is what will make us overlook our partner's weaknesses. Exactly. No exactly. one's perfect. But Mr. Gray was perfect before now. He is every woman's dream. He was everything a woman would need in her husband. If that be the case, what are we doing here? Why are we here? We are here because you changed from who you used to be. Mama. Yes. My pleasure. You changed from who you used to be. And I want you to go back to that old you. If you can go back to the old you, then we don't have a problem. The more you claim not to know what I'm talking about, the more it makes me sick. Ah, 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 please. No one will be sick. And the Lord will heal this marriage. Amen. But there's something I want both of you to do for me. Okay. If you can do it for me. I want us to quench this fire right here and right now. Because I am aware the children are returning for holidays soon. Very soon, very, very soon. Hmm. The last thing we want is for both of you to wear long faces against each other when they are around. We must. Okay, deny it. Deny it that it's not one of the women that are calling you. No, deny it! Pastor, did you hear that? This is exactly the bone of contention here. Eh? For Christ, for, for Christ out loud, I'm a businessman. And I have my business tentacle spread all over, the, all over the land and beyond. Anybody can call me anywhere, anytime, any day. My invoice is in the hands of one million and one persons. So what should, this, what, what should she even conclude that it's the woman that is calling me? Eh? In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I bring before you Mr. and Mrs. Okirish.
This one, this man is not taking his calls. <laughs> I hope he's still coming here today. I have listened to both of you. But what I have to say is, we all make mistakes sometimes. I do not see this as a mistake. This is a deliberate action. Extremely unbecoming of a Christian father. Mr. Ben, your wife is accusing you of infidelity. What do you have to say about that? She's just picking on me on any little thing. All I ask is for my own space. Is it too much to ask? But Mr. Ben, there is no space in marriage. You two have become one. You just need to carry her along in everything that you do. I am not actually asking him to carry me along. Because I am not wired for any form of worldly lifestyle. All I'm asking is for him to leave those women alone. There are no women anywhere. I don't know how else to say this for you to understand. You have allowed him to make you a liar. See that? God, Ben. Why are you doing this? Mrs. Ben, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You know what? Prayer answered all things. There is nothing prayers cannot do. Yes, once we're steadfast in our prayers, the Lord will always answer us. Uh, let us pray. Lean forward. Give me your hands. In Jesus' name. What happened? I've been calling your number and you weren't picking your call. Well, that was because I was counseling people with marital problems. Do you expect me to pick my calls while doing that? And besides, I told you I'll come before I go home. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just missing my woman, okay? <laughs> Point of correction, Chief Okundu. I am not your woman. Your woman is in Canada and she lives with your kids. And I can bet you she has a man in Canada there who she's going down with. And that doesn't bother you? Why should I be bothered? Come on! It's only a foolish man who will be living in Nigeria here and will still be expecting his wife who lives in Canada, in the United States or in Europe to still remain faithful to him. I, I, I believe maybe there are few men who are doing that. To remain faithful with their husbands when they are not living with him. But a sensible man should not call out his wife who decided to help herself. <laughs> You're completely impossible. You are an impossible character. Don't worry. Can we please go up? Because I know very soon you will tell me I want to leave. Chief, Chief. Let me come after you. So I can continue to admire this beautiful, beautiful Mrs. Tascana. Come in. Beautiful Mrs. Daskanda. You know, I am just wondering what you are going to do to me today. You talk as though you haven't been getting the best of me. <laughs> Look at you. 
<laughs> you are beautifully prepared. I can see that. You know what? Can we please get busy before you will tell me that I want to leave? I know <laughs> how you normally do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a PlayStation now? Oh, uh, mommy, what did you Ooh. get for me? Your dress is on. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, see you soon. Hurry up! Thank you so much, darling, for bringing them home. How excited you are! <laughs> are you hungry? I'm fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna send you. Hurry up! I'm waiting. Be down in ten minutes. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so happy to be at home. Let me dish the food. I'm so happy. I'm so happy my kids are back. Thank you for bringing them home. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's fine. I'm also happy that um, you know that Messi will be through very soon. So. Yes, talking about that. I know they're going back soon, but I'm not really happy with the way they're looking. I don't think they take good care of them in that school. Oh no, don't I don't say that. I don't think they fit well. It's, it's, uh, they fit well. I think it's normal with kids that live in the dormitory. You know, sometimes authorities get them to, to get involved in some rigorous activities. It, it, it's part of schooling. Uh, they'll be fine. Still, I don't like the way my kids are looking. They are feeding well, darling. So school life, school work, they'll be fine. And don't also forget that they have holidays from time to time, so they get a chance to come back home and refresh. You worry too much. If you say so. Uh, you told me something on the phone about a topic that you'd like for me to treat. Oh yes, I would like you to um, treat marital vows and its importance. You know, I have spoken to some women and everything they have said from the interactions I've had with them points towards infidelity. Mm. Yes. Uh. Infidelity has become a big problem, you know. Yes. I pray that the Lord will grant me the anointing that I need to tackle that topic. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's, um, let's share a word of prayer. Thank you. He's coming with me. <laughs> As always. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Be Mommy. Careful now. Bye. Take care of your daddy, okay? Alright, Mommy. <laughs> Alright. Drive what is, safe. Why is Mother Thanks. always following Mommy about? It's love. Just like you follow me about. 
I know what that means. You know, it reminds me that I didn't like the way the choir sang yesterday at the church. It was not the same choir that we used to have. They were even dancing wild. Oh, well, um, you might want to bring that up with your mother and um, see what she has to say about it. I will. And I will insist the choir goes back to the way it used to be. Bipio, you know why I am looking at something this way? I am just surprised that up till now, the police have not made even one single arrest. The family of that young man are already beginning to fear that I am involved in this. I, 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 I am not comfortable with that at all. Why would they think so? From our investigation so far, this has nothing to do with you. Our people do not always think like that. Listen, you know how they are wired. You always find a way to, you know, associate any man who is privileged to be in money to be associated with their courtesy, ritual or whatever. And they are already beginning to paint that narrative about my personality. Some of them are now saying that I use the young man for ritual. I don't want that narrative place. I want that to be corrected. And that's why I'm doing all these things. Chief, I understand your frustration here. But you must give us time to exhaust all the investigative options open to us. This is democracy. We cannot just go about arresting people for no justice. No, 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 DPO, you are missing the point. I am not asking you to go out and just be arresting people anyhow. That is not what I am saying. I want the police to up their game in a way that the people out there will actually feel that the police are on this case. I can confirm to you that we are on the case. Very soon, we will pin all those people behind this. DPO, I've given you money before on this. If you want me to give you more money, I will. I just want you to find the killers of that young man and bring them to justice. Chief, please, don't worry. We'll do our best. Yeah. Oh, you're ready to leave? Yes. Program starts soon. Okay. I have to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What is it? Lady, please, I want to go with you. <laughs> Must you show yourself all the time that you are a daddy's fit? Eh? Need I remind you, you know your exams are coming up. And you have to go to school, go back to school in a few days, so you need to study. I know about that, mom. But that doesn't stop me from little activities like this. Mm, but I'm happy to hear that you know about your exams coming soon, so study, make daddy proud. Daddy, I'm ready even now. <laughs> Keep studying. Oh, can never be enough. That's fine, I have to go. Mm -hmm. Alright, have a great day. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm. Bye, Daddy. Alright. What, what do you want? Get pizza and coming back, please. You hear her, son? <laughs> foodie. Foodie. Oh, my name is only foodie. Now and always. Eat. Take it with the bike. Mm -hmm. Yes, open it. Hello? Clara? I don't know how you feel about this man, but I'm quitting this game. As I'm speaking with you right now, Suzanne is dead. She's dead. Her body was found on the road at Brown Estate. And you know why they killed her. We all know. Yes, the police has been involved. You can go there and see for yourself. I am no longer a part of this. I'm sorry, ma, but I am done. I'm no longer a part of this. Madam, when did this happen? I don't know. I was at home when one of the choir members called me, and immediately I rushed down to Brand Estate only to see her lying dead. Do you know who could be behind us? I don't know. But officer, how can... How can a dead body be dumped on the street without anyone seeing the culprits? A lot is going on in this country now. We are trying our best and all the criminals will be flushed out soon. So what do you propose we do now? When last did you see her in the church? 
What happened now? What exactly happened? I don't know. Hey, I feel like she was used for ritual because some of her body parts were missing. Her eyes, her fingernails, her breasts. Is that why you're scared? Yes, because the other girls can rat on us. Nah, they won't even dare. They're not going to try them. They know this one oath. So, considering how Susan just died, do you think they will have the zeal to continue? Yeah, they may not have the zeal to continue. It's very understandable. But ratting on us is not possible. Don't even think about that. All right? They will just die. What is the police saying? <laughs> Same thing. They're still investigating. That is how they'll keep investigating and they will not find anything. Then it's calm down. Nothing they have for me. Sometimes I don't know why I abandoned my faith to do this nonsense with you. What did you just say? I mean, think about it. Even my TV program has died a natural death because I have lost the zeal to continue. You know why? Because everything I preach is the exact opposite of what I do. I'll remind you of this nonsense someday. Good afternoon, Daddy. You sent for me? Uh, Timothy. Sir? Yes, I sent for you. Please, sit down. Thank you, sir. As a choir master of this church, you would agree with me that you know this girl more than anyone else in this church. What can you tell me about her? Daddy, I may be wrong with my conclusions. From my observations while she was with us here, she never in any way showed any sign of a converted believer. Now why would you say that? By their fruits. Judging from their lifestyle. Uh, yes, Daddy, I, I, I know. I know we have some members who are still keeping boyfriends and all that. But not those girls. They are shameless. They go the extreme. Daddy, those girls, they operated like they are in some secular environment where the spirit of the resurrected Christ has not permeated. I ask you one person. The girl that died. Would you speak about the group? Why? Um, I I'm sorry, Daddy, but she was not the only one involved. We have Clara and Mirabel. Honestly, since those girls joined the choir, the spiritual health and growth of the choir dwindled. We retrogressed so much that we started praying and fasting, asking God to intervene and let his powerful light shine in the choir and in the church. So much that darkness will not comprehend his light. And Daddy, um, I think God answered and responded. No. I'll not allow you to share that level of thought. 
I will serve a merciful God, Timothy. I will serve a living God. One who would never allow his own be killed. Um, you're right, Daddy. But you are my spiritual father. Allow me to speak freely on this. I remember you, one of your teachings, you thought us that the angel of darkness could actually manifest as the angel of light. And that God knows them that are his. Daddy, if God could allow this happen to her, safe to say that she was not of God. And I would like to ask you for a favor. Please, Daddy, if it will be possible, tell Mommy to let those girls go, for they are destroying the church. Why are you confusing me with your attitude? I called you before it happened. Why have you not done anything? Vincent, you are still confusing me the more. What are you saying? You do go your way, the one I called my friend. My spirit is restless. Please help me. But how, Vincent? How? My killers are proven to be smarter than you. I know they are not. Please show them. Your killers? How do you mean? I told you what I saw and where I was going. I couldn't get there. The police may be helpless. But I know you're not. Comrade, think. You will remember who my killers are. This is not just a dream. He appeared to tell me something. Think, comrade, you will know who my killer is. Who is the killer? Who is the killer? Amara! Amara! Where is she? Oh, she was here killing men. Amara! 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 A Amara! I've been looking for you. I thought you were there peeling melon. I asked you to peel. Come here, Mama. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? that Vincent appeared in my dream today. I don't know why the police have been unable to bring the killers to book. This is so disheartening. It's okay, my daughter. Whether the police are able to bring the killers to book or not, I have left vengeance for God. He will fight my battles. I know that you are worried about your school. Your brother's friend has been very helpful. And I know that once your admission comes out, you will have no problem. Please, my daughter, don't hurt yourself. You know that you are all that I have got. 
Mama, why us? Why must this tragedy befall us? Why? It's okay. Our God is not asleep. He is watching us. He's watching. He's watching. He's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Itigo, good to see you. Thank you, Mom. You look great. <laughs> Thank you very much. It has been quite some time, Itigo. Um, I do not have a direct contact to Vincent's mother, else I would have been sending her things. You have absolutely nothing to worry, Pastor. I place the woman and the daughter on a monthly allowance. They are coping fine. Wow, that's impressive. May the good Lord continue to bless and uplift you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You are indeed a good friend. I must say, you did not only stand by your friend to you. He is unfortunate death. Here you are, still standing with his family and helping them. May the Lord continue to bless you, Diko. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And you see, your friend was such a credible member of our church. One we shouldn't just forget just like that. You can say that again. You see, people like Vincent make those who have forgotten about religion have a rethink. Vincent is indeed a saint. Yes, I agree with you completely. You see, the last time I saw him, he was at my office. He came to tell me that he was ready to, to, to get married. Unfortunately, that dream never came true. It's sad. And we just have to continue to pray for him. May God accept his soul. Amen. You know, that is something we have no control over. It's more like something that has been destined to be. We have no power over it. I just have to learn to live without him. Because he was a brother and a friend. It is fine, Indigo. Oh, please. Continue to take heart. I hope you know that we're not trying to dig up that which you have buried. <laughs> not at all, Pastor. His memory will always be fresh in our hearts. Meanwhile, I beg to take my leave. Okay. Um, you just let us know if you need our help. Sure, I will. Okay. Bye for now. Okay. Mm. The good men don't last. Vincent was such a good, good young man. It's sad. I was going to ask you, honey, about the church. I noticed that the new girls are now um, a part of the church choir. What was the motivation? Where is that coming from? Did you not hear them sing? They're great singers. Why would you ask me now? Are you suspecting anything? Mrs. 
Kanga, my pastor's wife. I saw her in Chief's bedroom. In fact, she spent the night there. Hold on, Hussein. Just tell me you're joking. How can I be joking with a thing like this? I'm telling you what I saw with my eyes. In fact, she was shocked when she saw me there. Are you serious? Now, what happened? What did Chief say? Uh, Chief didn't say anything, though he has already left the room for me to do my job. Before the door to the bedroom got opened. And it was Mrs. Daskanga. In fact, she warned me never to mention this to anyone. She's an idiot to have said that to you. I'm glad you opened up to me. Listen, listen, listen. Comrade, please. I don't want you to mention this to anybody. Remember the innocent man doesn't know what this woman is doing behind him. And that is the reason you should let him know on time. So that he would save himself. Because there is absolutely nothing that kills a man than the infidelity of his wife. I don't want to go into all that now. In fact, I'm heading to the village, okay? When I come back, we'll see. He cannot fabricate something like that. He saw her, that's why he called me. But what I don't understand is she keeps saying that it was in her office that she saw him last. I want you to know this because he saw her. She slept with Chief Okundu that night and she saw my friend who was in that room to take measurement. He left that place in shock and promised to give me the full details when he returned from the village. He did not even get to the village at the first place. DPO, can you see that someone may have silenced him in order to cover the truth? Listen, comrade. Are you aware that you are talking about a man and a woman of God? And if I may ask you, sir, are you a man of the devil? Please do not allow this title of men and women of God blind you from a glaring, relevant link. I know it's been months now, but still allow us to continue our investigation. We rest assured that we will explore all the information you have just provided. We will not leave anyone untouched. DPO, something is telling me that that young man's soul will not rest until his killers are apprehended and prosecuted. That is our job. To arrest and prosecute criminals. I promise we will not fail on this. No problem, DPO. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'll take my leave. Chief Okundu remitted 4 million into your account. So that's all that matters to you as a woman. Do you know I have completely lost the peace that comes with serving the Lord? I don't know what you're talking about, but I have told you not to concern with things like that. Do not bother yourself. Your husband is out there living the La Vida local ah, lifestyle. Ah, ah, please don't tell me that because you know it's not true. You have made me commit sin and in covering up that sin, you're making me commit more sin. And what is your definition of sin? Doing something you're enjoying? Something that puts money into your account? Coming in contact with the high and mighty in the land? Is that your definition of sin? Now I want to know. Uh, my husband. Welcome. Sweetheart.
sweetheart. What is this woman doing here? Is she not the same woman that I warned you to stop mingling with? What is she doing in our living room? Excuse me, Pastor Daskanga. You asked your wife to stop seeing me. I don't get it. You think you're better than me? I'm not going to dwell on that. But I'm going to tell you right here and now that you are a bad influence on my wife. And as long as you have refused to bend to the leadership spirit of the resurrected Christ, I want you to stop coming here. And by that, you think you're under the leadership of that spirit? Oh, please, 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 Tina. Don't speak to my husband that way. Please leave. Go now, Tina. Leave. That's your thing. But she wouldn't listen and I don't know what I must do. You know exactly what to do. But you have clearly refused to do it for reasons best known to you. I need you to guard your faith jealously. For your faith is the most important thing in life. thing that will save you. Tell me the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Who are your partners in crime? You don't need to cover up for them and suffer alone. By exposing them you will become a police witness and I will ensure you get a lesser punishment. As you can see, we are already treating you like a friend. I cannot take any lesser punishments when murder is involved. Ifedora, I want you to understand that I am the head of the police department in this city. We have every evidence to put you in the prison. And that is why we arrested you. I know you have partners. You should make them part of this. We killed him because we feel he has something that they don't want the public to hear about. You said that already in your statements. What is it that he knew they don't want him to expose? I was engaged by Madame Tina. She didn't tell me what they were hiding. I didn't bother to ask. Because I fit none of my business. Hmm. Now I know where this is coming from. Officer, you promised to help me. Take him back to the cell. Officer. Well, officer. Officer. Move. Officer, you promised to move. Officer. Move it. I said move it. Officer, you move. I am sorry, Tina, but if you are having problems or having issues with your friend, 
Are you not supposed to solve it? Why are you involving me? Chief, I am involving you because I was the one who introduced her to you in the first place. This woman doesn't value your relationship with her. So I want you to cancel it. I will introduce you to another woman. You? Yes. Will introduce another woman to me? Mm -hmm. That's insulting. Does it mean you don't know how insulting that is? Um, how is how is that insulting? With all due respect, Chief. I mean, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have known this woman. I have lost count the number of millions you have dumped into that woman's account. The kind of money you haven't you have never given to me. It's not my money. Chief, all I am saying is that this woman. She doesn't appreciate all that you are doing for her. Just show her the exit door. I will get you another woman. You know what? That woman has made a lot of sacrifices for me. A sinner like me is enjoying a woman like that. Don't you understand it? Are you aware that we are talking about a woman who has halted her evangelical television program with millions of followers simply because of what we are enjoying and you are here asking me to cancel the relationship listen men who are men do not undermine women who can make huge sacrifices for them I am a man and I cannot do what you are asking chief are you calling yourself a sinner because you feel or you consider her and her pastor to be holier than you. Hey, hey, let, let, you know what? You know what? I want to end this nonsense. I like that woman. Okay. Okay? I am enjoying our relationship. Okay? If there is any problem you have with her, please, go and solve it. I am not going to dismantle everything I have with her. Simply because he's having issues with you. No, 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 I will not do anything like that. Listen, this is my stand on this. And this stand of mine is absolutely irrevocable. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this either. And, in all honesty, there is nobody that will feel good about the police coming in to arrest the mother. Dad has worked so hard in building the ministry. The church has risen to be one of the lead churches in town. This scandal could destroy the church. You know, it's actually kind of funny. It's funny how you are so concerned about the church right now. When you should be more concerned about us. I mean, this could very well destroy our family. But what did mom did that warrant her being let out in handcuffs? They said something about her being involved in murder. That is not true, and you know it. Mommy cannot be involved in murder. Well, I guess we'll have to wait till Dad gets back so we can find out what the truth is. Are we still going back to school tomorrow? I mean, with all this. Mercy. We have a very important exam to write early next week and so we have to return back to school god will always make a way for his people i just want everything to be fine let our life go back to normal i mean look madam it is better you cooperate with us and answer every question we ask you these tears will not get you anywhere
But I can see she's not ready to talk. Detain her. Madam, I have followed your TV ministry for years, and I know you have made a lot of positive impacts on the people. You can attract sympathy from us, but you need to tell me everything you know about this. I don't understand what you're saying, DPO. What are you trying to tell me? What is this you are trying to say? That my wife is responsible for the killing of Vincent. DPO. She has confessed to the crime. Her friend who lured her into the crime is on the run as we speak. But we are going to track her down. What friend? Why will they want to kill Vincent? Madam Tina is her name. The same friend I have been telling her to stop mingling with. I need to know why they, even if they did it, why would they want to kill Vincent? Well, I do not want to give you information that will break your heart. You are indeed a good man. It is fine, you can talk to me. Please, feel free to speak to me, I can take it. Maybe I will give you and your wife our names. She will be the one to tell you what happened. Will you ever forgive me? I feel so empty. I don't know if I can ever survive this. Sandra, I just want you to tell me the truth. The truth. Sandra. Did you actually kill Vincent? It wasn't my fault. Tina misled me. She made she made me think you were having an affair, that you were cheating on me. I am sorry. What? How can you even begin to listen to a character like that? That is the same woman that I told you to stay away. resurrected Christ believe in the destruction of spell Samaritan like you think. 
I, I, I am having a, I am having an affair with him. I don't know what happened to him. I just couldn't resist. I am sorry. to me that you have been having an affair with another man. Sandra. That's why I think it's a spell. Huh. Vincent, Vincent saw me in his bedroom hmm. and I knew he was going to Tell everyone. And so you killed him to cover up your immorality, Sandra. <sighs> You're just demonic. Are you this demonic yet? I have kept you by my side all these years. <laughs> Not just as my wife. as the mother of the church. The church. The church of God. Huh. So let me get my phone. issue like this, we know how to handle it. I am really sorry. This boy would not have any atom of respect for me As anymore. if he leaves to tell the story. Tina, what are you good? Hello, Ifediora. Yeah, I have a job for you. I need you to cut off someone this morning. He's on his way to Enoguuko. Yeah, I'll send you details of his car. His name is Vincent. He has information I don't want it to get out. So you cut him off before he tells anyone. I trust you. Tina, killing him, don't you think that's a bit extreme? Extreme is the best way to handle issues like this. I mean, you have to be calm. You have to be calm before it gets too late. I mean, how are we supposed to restore your pride and dignity if not doing this? Listen up. Calm down. I've got you. He will not leave to tell the story, else he has details about you and he will hold you to ransom. He will hold you to ransom if we do not do this. Hey, Tina, what's Don't your... say anything. Girl, I'm the one leading you. So do well by not making things difficult. All right? Are you with me on this? <laughs> yes. That's good. Tina and I planned and killed Vincent to cover up for me. When you knew that the devil had taken over your life, why did you not call me? It was too late. It was too late. I lacked the boldness. Tina had led me in to commit him more sin. <laughs> it was too late.
do I do I really deserve this? Do I really deserve this from a woman I call it? Oh man of God. No. <laughs> the one I love and cherish so much. And I asked you to get me a wife. When did this happen just now? You need to have seen the look on his face. He was, his face was filled with agony. There is no way it will happen. The dead has no inheritance with the living. I mean, that is what your Bible says, right? Oh, you don't believe your Bible anymore. Oh, please, please, please. Please, Tina, stop this. Realize that I'm serious right now. Girl. I do not believe you. This boy is dead. He's long dead. He is dead. Okay, I know you don't have a heart. Okay, your, your heart is not strong. But you are not the one that killed him in the first place. So what will happen to the people that killed him? What, what will happen to them? Please spare me that. Come are you trying to say I don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what I saw? I am saying it's a fragment of your imagination. So relax. Hey, hey, Tina, please. I am not a child. I know what I saw. That guy is out for revenge. He had blood in his eyes. It is a fragment of your imagination, like I said. The dead has nothing to do with the living. Okay? You of all people that preach the gospel, you should know this. So please hurry up. Okay. Okay. Alright. Bye. 
is not peace for the wicked. Isn't that what you preach? Stay here. You think the spirits cannot find its way to this place? You think the spirit will use an address? Just calm down. The spirit will not come here. Nobody will come here. It's my house. Just relax. Let me get you something to eat, okay? Ah! Where are you going to I'm now? I'm following you. I mean, I can't stay here. No, let's be going. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Hey, you need to take things with you. Ah! 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 There we are today. Achukwu onye kutere dike Nderi atu egu Abia Oke di bi ejere ajo ohia Bute mboro gu anu nu ebe Owere na agwo onele ona agwo onele ona agwo onele Onwu do onye kuro bia mba ya 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 Nderi atu egu Onwu do onye kuro bia mba You are guilty. That is why his spirit is restless. He wants vengeance. He needs justice. And I'm afraid he's going to get it. Hey. Um, that means I'm finished. That means I'm finished. Please, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah. Ndelia Twin, you are that same man that controls even the forces in the dark world. Yes. I want you to please tame the restless spirit of that young man. Please, please. Just tell us what we must do. Please. Do you know where he is buried? Yes. But we cannot go there. Why? He was buried in their village. And it, it is not possible we go there. In a situation where they are not able to go to the village, to the gravesite, what possible option do we have to handle this? No? I 
I don't know how you are going to do it, but you must get to the grave side. Get some quantity of sand. Bring it here to me and leave the rest for me. What if we can't? See, I am afraid that spirit will harm me. Just come down. I just ask for another option. But well, the spirit that works with me said how it's going to be. Since we cannot get to the village to change him directly, we will do so with the sand. I will give you something you rub in your hand before proceeding to the place. You will carry the sand no harm will be on you. You lied to me. You lied to me when you said my husband was cheating on me. What sort of nonsense is this? Are we supposed to be arguing about this now? I am not arguing with you. For I am telling you what you know. You are the reason I am in this mess. That boy wouldn't have seen me in that house if you had not taken me there. Sandra, we have a serious issue right now. Exactly my point. How the hell am I supposed to get sand from his grave? I didn't go for the condolence visit. And I don't even know my way to his village. Listen, it's very simple, okay? You just call your husband, you tell him you want to go and pay the mother a visit. You want to gift her some items. And then when you get there, you do what you have to do. Simple. What if he says he wants to follow me? Makes it easier. When you get there, after doing what you need to do, you tell your husband that you want to collect the sand and use it as a contact for prayers. Oh, please, shut up, Tina. Uh -uh. The more you speak, the more it's obvious that you're not even spiritually inclined in any way. This is not Pentecostal practice. Uh, forget it now. I'm trying to help you here. When you get there, you'll know what to do. Ah. I'm trying to help you here. You're, 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 you're just saying, I'm trying to give you... Uh -uh. You're studying. Oh, yes, I am. Um, I'd like you to give me the address to Vincent's village. I'm being led in the spirit to go there. And it feels like I'm disappointing the Holy Spirit. So I have to go. It is good. You should go if you're led. And it will also give me the opportunity to give her some gifts. I don't think that they're lacking anything. Yes, um, Idigo is doing his best to ensure that they are comfortable and also make them understand that in case they need anything, they should get across to us. Um, I think they are fine, but however, um, since you are led to go and see her, I think that it's a good thing. You should go. I'll go tomorrow. Um, that would be nice. I would. Um, Make the details to the address of the place available to you. May the Lord lead you as you go. Amen. Thank you. It's just um, such a sad story. No one deserves this. No one. But can we question God? No, we cannot. We just continue to pray for his soul to continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. Yes. Please send my regards to her when you get there. Yes. And I will um, 
I'll send you regards. Please. Please do. Please do. So what are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> should check the back, right? So wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, how may I help you? I don't remember any of you. Yes, I know you do not know us. Um, my name is Pastor Mrs. Sandra Daskanga. And this is Sister, Sister Tina. Yes, Sister Tina. You're welcome. Um, I am the wife to Pastor Daskanga. He was Vincent's pastor. And he was here when Vincent was buried. Mm. Yes, I remember him. Mm. Oh, such a nice man. Mm. Yes. Please, come in. I decided to come see you today since I haven't been able to come since the incident. May the good Lord grant you the fortitude to bear this irreplaceable loss. I'm sorry. It's painful, but I'm getting used to it. Mama, it's okay. God will protect you and guide you, and Amen. He's there for you. Amen. 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 So, what can I offer you? Oh, 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 nothing, Mama. Just saying you alone is okay for us. I just want you to stop crying and be strong. God knows best. You know we cannot question Him. Yes. Was that his grave we saw outside? Yes. That is his grave. I just couldn't bring myself to looking at it twice. He was such a good man. Um, 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 um. Please, don't make Mama think about this. I don't want her to feel bad. Eh? Did you forget the gift we brought for Mama? No, no, no. I wanted to meet her first. Okay. I'll go to the car. Mama, I'm coming. Let me go to the car and bring what I brought for you, okay? Please stop crying. Take care of Mama. Okay, I'm here. I'll, I'll, I'll soon be back. <laughs> Mama, um... Everything is going to be fine. I don't want you to cry. You see this God? He is with you at all times. Okay? It's okay. Are you also a member of their church? Yes. Um, you see, Vincent was, may his soul rest in peace. He was a dedicated member of the church. We all miss him. We really miss him. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
human beings are evil. I mean, who will do this? Ah, oh, this is this is this is really terrible. No, 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 no. Mama, it's okay, it's okay. My God will give him internal rest and give your family the fortitude to bear this loss. Okay? This is so sad. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, my daughter. Mama, this is just a token. Now that I know this place, I will visit you quite often. We will visit you yes, often. Yeah. Please help me, thank her. No, it's okay, Mama. It's fine. In addition to what my friend brought, please just take this. Thank you, my daughter. God okay. bless you. The Lord is with you, okay? Mama, please stop crying. Okay? Mama, stop crying. It's okay. Okay? Do you want us to cry? Okay? Do you want us to start crying? <laughs> God will be with you. Amen. God bless you, my daughter. Mama, we should be on our way now. You know the road is far. Yes. This place is really far. Okay. But we will come from time to time. Okay. It's okay, Mama. Uh, we have to go now. So let me ask you. No, 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 Mama. Hey. Don't worry. Um, just relax. Okay? Just, just stay calm. Okay. You'll be fine. You will not be distracted. <clears throat> just read your Bible verses. And pray. Thank you. May God bless you. Just take care of yourself. Don't cry, you. Thank you, my daughter. God bless you. Okay, Mama. Chai. Scared of what? Please, let's go. back in two days. By then, I will be through with your work. I will give you something you will bury at the junction where three track roads meet. Another one to blow into the air for three days. That will make him not to see he will not harm you, and his spirit will not disturb you again. Thank you. It's all right. Just go and come back in two days' time. Sandra, I'm broken, I'm disappointed, I'm disgusted to say the least, Sandra, you are a pastor's wife. 
It is you they call mother in that ministry. You are the one. The set up a TV program that healed homes. A program that fixed broken marriages. Sandra, you are the one that manages the ministry when I'm not there. How? How could you descend so low as to visit in a witch doctor? And you allow the things they generate to offer sacrifices to an unknown, to an unknown God. You are a child of God. You are a minister of God. You have the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon you. You have the unction of our Heavenly Father to win souls for Him. Yet, yet, Sandra, Sandra, and yet you sacrifice your own soul to the devil. dealt with me. After the DB assisted in Cajun Vincent's spirit, Tina said we must turn you into a vegetable so I can control you. She fed me a lot of lies. A lot of information which I found to be lies. What? 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 How did I? But this got to the extent of involving me. What did I ever do to you? There is no need asking you how you're doing because you are looking good. You see, those girls are causing serious commotion in the church. <laughs> and those useless men, those ones that would never give the church money, are spending a lot on the girls. I know, they are very useless, including your husband. Hey, hey, please, let's not have this conversation again. Mr. Deskanga does not look at any of them. Well, there's no need arguing with you. Um, now that we're on the same level, I'll tell you what you must do to catch him red-handed. Uh, what do you mean? It is called advanced Kayamata. You will cage his body, soul and spirit. That once he does anything with another woman, immediately he sees you, he will start confessing everything. Do we have anything like that? Of course! If 
Open up for your born again attitude. I mean, is there anything called born twice? Babes, let me tell you something. There are powers in this world, babes. For anyone to remain relevant, you must use those powers. Okay, so since you know about these powers and you can use them, why haven't you used it to find yourself a husband? Oh, please, as if marriage is an achievement. Give me a break. Babes, if I want to get married now, now, I go marry. There are men falling on my feet. No, we wouldn't lick my leg. But I want to marry an aged money bag on the verge of his death. Shabi, you go there here, you go see him now. And how about kids? Don't you want kids? I have a son. He's in the UK and he's doing very well. Let's not talk about my son, okay? Um, let's focus on you. So are you ready to use this advanced Kayamata and have your husband confess his atrocities himself? Are you ready? I told her that everything we see in the physical is being controlled in the spiritual world. I want her to take charge of her spiritual world so that she can control her physical world. She must explain to me what she wants. When I understand what she wants, I will be able to invoke the exact spirit for it. I, I will tell you, I want a situation where my husband will confess directly to me once he's been with another woman. Mm. You will have to pay me. When you pay me, I will pour the one of Jezebel in your eyes. Even if he fails to confess to you, you will know whatever he does. I am very interested. How much should I bring? Mm. After making love with your husband, after he has ejaculated into you, go to the restroom. Urinate into a cup. Pour it into a pot and boil it until it stops smelling. Use it to prepare what he will eat. His whole being, his entire body will collapse into you as soon as he eats the food. Mm. So what if he insists that I eat the food for him? Mm -hmm. I was about to come into it. Take 21 seeds of alligator pepper eat them before you serve the food. If he insists that you eat the food, go ahead. The effect will be on him, not on you. But if you can have a reason not to eat the food, that will be the best. So how long will it take before we begin to see the effect? It will take effect immediately he has eaten the food.
for you have made it possible. I pray, O oh Lord, that you bless and sanctify on the powerful name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is nice. Thank you. Thank you. you know I like it when it's spicy, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So tell me, what did you get out of today? Yeah. Same old, same old. What are you eating? Everyone is complaining that I put on a lot of weight. I'm trying to lose it. How is that? I don't see it. <laughs> but if you say so, it's fine. Do you like it? Love it. strange behavior since dinner. Sweetheart. <sighs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Why do you ask? after dinner you've not been yourself. Is there a problem? No, of course there's no problem. Acting funny how? I'm just, I was just thinking about the clothes I need to hand wash. That's all. Would you help me? What did you say, sorry? Help you with your clothes? Since when? You have the dry cleaners at your bank and call, so you'd have to call them to come get the clothes. Well, I can't, I can't send my underwears to the dry cleaners. Well, you put them in the washing machine. That's what it's there for. Ha! You're no longer romantic. What, what is wrong with you washing your wife's underwear? Sandra, are you sure everything is okay? I don't see what I have said wrong here. I don't understand why you want to dig up some kind of ungodly argument in our union. You have never been this way. Why would you start now? We have the dry cleaners at your beck and call. They'll be willing to show up here at the time to do your laundry for your private personal effects. You put them in the washing machine. What is going on? Well, I want you to start washing my underwears now. That is the only way I would know that you still really and truly love me. Sandra. You see your ungodly fraternity with that ungodly woman would destroy you. You better reinvent yourself. Early enough. Before it becomes too late. Why are you bringing all these scriptures into it? Okay, what, what has Tina got to do with this now? What has Tina got to do with this? I did all you asked me to do, but nothing worked. Now he's talking tough. In fact, talking tougher than he used to.
your husband may be a pastor, but he is one of those men who are still connected to their root. That is what I have seen. Controlling such men, mainly by the women who calls them dim, takes a rigorous process. That's the problem I have with you men. Hey? You all change all the time. What you told me then is not what you're telling me now. Spiritual works. It's not always one plus one equal to two. We must continue to explore all possible options till we get the target result. But you caged Vincent at once and he stopped appearing to me. Vincent was a labor. But your husband is a pastor. They are not of the same spiritual hierarchy. But don't worry. I will give you... I will give you two bottles of oil. One for his cream. Another for whatever he eats. Soon, very soon start controlling him, commanding him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understand it's expensive, but I can get another one. Why are you upset? Yeah, but, but you just be you, 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 you be careless, and that's not good. Uh -huh. Well, this thing, why are you attaching so much? You know what? Just, just calm down, okay? You just get one of the girls to, to, to clean this. No need to. You don't have to get this way. Uh -huh. It's just a cream, baby. Huh? Please get one of the girls to come. You just look at this mess now, eh? Go catch you couldn't dare I want you to talk to me. That I should leave the man? Why should I leave the man? I have not prepared anything that will harm the man or kill him. Eh? 
but I just prepared something that will make the house peaceful. Why? But why are you against it? But she has paid me already. She paid me in full. Okay. What, what, what shall I do there? The fact that your husband calls me mean is not even my problem. My problem is the information that he is indeed very strong. How is that possible? My sister, that is what I have also seen. I mean, everything I have tried has failed. The one I put in his food did not work. I went back to Ndelia Twego and he gave me something to put in his stream. That is the one that shattered the other day. Listen. He is really suspecting me and I don't know what to do anymore. My only resort is the last one. Which one? The one I need to put in his drink. Listen, um, you and I know that Ndeli Atuegu is a very powerful man. If all he has given to you has failed, I think you should just stop until we find an alternative. We need to know if your husband belongs to any strong group whatsoever. Well, Ndele Atwebu said, even though my husband is a pastor, he's still connected to his roots. And I know exactly what he's talking about. Am I not vindicated? They may act sanctimonious, whereas they are evil. Evil. She will. It's just a minor hit. By the time I'm done now, um, I will massage her ankle and it will make her heal faster. Then I'll be coming in two days to massage the ankle. She'll be fine. Sorry. Thank you. Sudan, so sorry, sorry. Just so you go well. Ah, I know, sorry. Thank you so much. I have told you to stop. Stop trying. Your husband is connected to some weird forces. You're not far from the truth, my dear. Do you know as I was about to drop the juice? I can't even tell you what happened. Oh my, I'm so sorry. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay, you know. I've been getting massages from a, a physiotherapist and the guy is really good. Hmm. A guy? Hmm. My dear Tina, a guy, a very cute one at that. Every time he massages me, <laughs> I just lose my sense of concentration. You got involved and you got really involved, girl. <laughs> I'm fine now anyway. I just used the walking stick so that my dear husband can think that I'm still in pain. My darling, he's your man, okay? So anything you want to do to force him to bend into the flexible man that you want, sweetheart, 
I'm all in. It's just so sad that you can't uh, visit anytime. But we'll, we'll walk around it. We'll find a way out soon. My darling, don't worry, okay? I am with you all the way. All right? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Very hectic day indeed. You know, the, I don't blame them. The woman had a domestic accident and um, eh, she was only trying to help. You know that occasions like this make me regret that you had halted that beautiful TV program. This would have been the best time to touch lives, you know. I know, but there was a reason I halted the show. The reason you still have no bother to tell me. Are we really going to have this conversation right now, darling? I am tired and I am in pain. It's fine. Let me take care of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Must be chief. Oh, chief. Yes, he said you'll meet me here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, chief. Madam Tina, Madam Tina. How chief. are you? I'm fine, chief. Welcome. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know earlier that something is wrong. So, I hope you're getting better. Yes, I'm getting better. It's just a little domestic um, accident. I'm so sorry about that. You know, I just came to let you know. I am actually in a hurry because I'm traveling. I, I want to go to Canada to meet my family, but I will come back before you will start missing me. <laughs> no problem. Please <laughs> just take good care of yourself. I okay? will. I will. And let me tell you something. I'm going to buy you something really nice when I'm coming back. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> In the meantime, I want, I just came to give you this. You, you cash it on the you try to you know find something nice you can buy for yourself. I will call you when I get to Canada, okay? Thank you, yeah, Chief. Uh, Thank you. It's so nice, so sweet. <laughs> and you? A chief. I want chief. you to take very good care of her. Okay. And uh, if you you know accumulate any expenses in the okay. course of taking care of her. Okay. Just let me know and I'm going to refund you. You trust me, so Chief. Fast, okay? No problems, Chief. Thank you. Can I do my little? Yes, baby. Please. All right. Bye. Have a safe flight. Chief! Chief! What I'm Tina. Chief! Tina, I'm Tina. Okay, bye, Chief. This chief is spoiling me. Aww. Sometimes I feel like leaving my husband. Huh? You're not serious. But he has warned me. He said the moment I leave my husband, he will stop seeing me. Man. Possibly he's using me to keep one of his ones running. What's up? How much is that? Five million naira. Five million naira? Babes, my share day inside. Oh. Make it clean now. Babe. Hi, honey. Oh, my baby boy. Oh, my love. Mm. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Ah. I'm leaving already. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And don't forget to do the transfer, okay? I sure will. All right. Take care. Oh, baby. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> wow. 
What? What is it? What? You can never change. Babes, I like them young, strong, and vibrant. You're not serious, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> you, I'm tired of you. Babes. And, and babe, what, what do you mean by keeping one of his ones running? Uh, come on, maybe one of my classless talks. Babe, you see that guy? Hey! Hit it! Give it to me! Oh, God! I, I give up on you. I, I you, Babe, possibly. you need to try them young. I mean, no, young thank and you. lively. Thank you young and lively. My husband, I am sorry. I don't even know where to hide. Huh. where did I go wrong? Did I go wrong with you? What? What? What have I done that would make my wife be the one in this in this kind of situation? Sandra, can you not see that you are the one in the center of this kind of mess? You know that I gave you everything. My God, even now I love you. I love you. I care for you. I made you my queen. Yes. What should I have done that I did not do that would make you tore this kind of path? Amount of pleading can erase the pain. Huh. But my husband, my husband, I am sorry. I am, I am, I am sorry. I am truly sorry. Please. I am sure you have spoken with your wife. I'm devastated. I can understand. You know, my main concern now is the church. The church that she has... The church of God that she has tempted. So many who never wanted to give their lives to Christ will now have a reason. Mark the gospel of the Lord. 
Do not worry yourself about that. Those who already made up their minds to go astray will always have things to say. The police department will assist you to get divorced if you wish to remarry. You need a woman that will help you rebuild your church. The game is up, Maratina. For we know you are in there. We have the warrant to arrest you for murder. You can come out without creating an unnecessary drama in your neighborhood. What is the meaning of this embarrassment? You have arrested the one who killed the guy to cover her adultery. Why are you still after me? We have the warrant to arrest you for murder. You can call your lawyer and brief him accordingly. But this has got nothing to do with me. I ask, why are you embarrassing me? Call your lawyer and brief him accordingly. Officer, take her. Officer, take her. Sandra, why are you this evil? If you, I started suspecting her lack of godliness. When she confided in me that she was prepared to leave her husband and come in as my second wife, I warned her. I told her that the very day I will hear that she's having issues with her husband is the day she will never set eyes on me again. I heard that woman in high esteem. I never suspected she was the one who killed Vincent. In fact, I never knew that such a woman, such beautiful woman, had the propensity to commit a crime of that magnitude. In fact, I am going to expose her to the full wrath of the law. But how are you managing the negative publicity? The news is everywhere that you are sleeping with a pastor's wife. Well, it is only a very foolish man who will allow that kind of thing to disturb him. I didn't rape that woman. We had understanding as adults. And what we did, we did behind closed doors. If they, decide, they have decided to make it news all in the name of what is trending on the internet or social media, whatever, that is their business. It is their news. 
it has nothing to do with me. I am not bothered at all. Chief, Chief, you are just a different kind of man. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, but I need to, I need to give you an information. I have already decided that I will build a house for Vincent in their village. I will lodge the mother in a hotel for like three months. Demolish their house and build something very decent for that family. And then I am going to marry a wife for Vincent, a woman of their land who will reproduce children that will cause their lineage to continue. The woman is already, I mean the mother is already excited with this information. And I know that this will give her new life. I know that. I don't know how that will happen. But uh, come to think of it, who will be marrying the said wife in real time? Well, the woman herself, she will be able to sort that one out on her own. But let me tell you something. <laughs> there is always a young man in that family, I mean Vincent's family, who will be so glad to wear that shoe. Okay? That shouldn't be a problem at all. But there is something I need to ask you, DPO. I mean, for old time's sake, considering what that woman and myself have shared together, I am asking, is there a way you can give me an opening for me to come in and save that woman? Uh, for now, there is nothing anyone can do because uh, crime is against the state. And she has already detained with her colleague. So for now, no one can grant her a favor. I know that you're here because of my wife. She's not here. She's in prison. The atrocities that you both committed took the life of that young man. But I take solace in the fact that I serve a living God, one who never abandons his people. The ones who trust, love, and believe in him. Chief. You have ruined my family. But I leave everything in the hands of God. I am sorry, Pastor. From the depth of my heart, I am sorry. I regret every action of mine. And I, I have learned my lessons. I am a changed man now. I came to plead. Please, forgive me. Only God. 
shall forgive your sins. You claim to be a chief, but you were taking advantage of my wife. You told me that you are a philanthropist doing God's work in my ministry. But they were all lies. But I have forgiven you. Pastor Daskanga, I am, in, I am very sorry. You are the one I sinned against. And if I should be asking for forgiveness, I should be asking for that forgiveness from you. Tina was the one who deceived me. She made it appear as if your wife needed help. Everything I did, I did from a pure heart, believing I was rendering help. I never knew it would get to this. I am sorry. I don't blame you, I blame Sandra. You see, Sandra is a very beautiful woman, so it's only normal for men to hover around her. But she fell into sin because she maintained an ungodly fraternity with a woman who hates the church and the gospel. My wife's case will serve as a lesson to others to guard their faith. Else a thief would steal it. I pray that the peace of the Lord will continue to rest upon you. And also with you. You are indeed a good man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 